Okay, so now are we uh, rocking and rolling here, Vinny? People Who can hear fucking, us now? I couldn't tell you. I'm not in charge of it. You've been running it this whole time. Oh, You've boy. been back there at the controls. I'm just hanging out. Fair enough. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a show open, and then uh, we could talk about what just uh, transpired. Who are these podcast WATP? W-A-T-P. W-A-T-P. Hello, Cousaroos and Rubber Dicks and Bag Slappers and everyone else who's hanging out with us on this bonus episode, the first ever attempt at a live stream, aside from my cutie's consequence, which was a little less complicated Well, technically, that was a creep-off live stream. This is the first W-A-T-P live stream. That's true. And so what I thought I would do- did you mess it up? What I thought I would do is I would go over to my buddy Vinny's studio, since he does this kind of stuff all the time, and have him help me out with it. Now, Vinny just got very upset with me right before we started the show. What are you talking about? Uh, remember when you were motherfucking me over and over again about what an asshole I am? That's all the time. You yeah. have to be more specific. Well, you were less funny about it this time around, I noticed. So I... I, I... I want to know. Don't know anything about it. I want to know what did I do wrong in your estimation just now, Vinny? Why, why did this gal get screwed up? Carl, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, come on. You're going to do that now? What? <laughs> okay. All right. Don't you love broadcasting live, Carl? Isn't it fun when people fuck with you when you're broadcasting? No, here's what happened, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. All right, gentlemen. finally. Let's get into it. Because Vinny was like, all ready to fucking spar just a second ago. No, and I wasn't like, hey, mad at you. Great. Let's I want go. everybody to know how insecure of a human Carl is. Yeah. Because none of that was motherfuckering him. I was motherfuckering the computer. I was like, that's, that's, that's not true. You go, I told you, Carl. I told you. And I was all fucked up because of you. And by the way, uh-huh. you're telling, calling me insecure. How many times do you say, I'm sorry to me on a daily basis over shit I could care less about? You insecure motherfucker. I'm sorry. See? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Should we just get into the show? We don't have to air all hey, of this. Hey, hey, what's hey. Hey. What's up? Relax. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Carl, calm down. <laughs> I'm good, Carl. Buddy. Just relax a little. I'm good. We got a good show for you today, Vinny. I know. I'm excited for this, if actually. If we get this to work, this is going to be a fun show. It appears to be working. So awesome. Here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. The computer would not connect with the pre-set up live stream. It just would not connect because I don't know if it's because he set it up on a different computer or whatever. I was trying to connect to the original live link. It would not connect. That's all. Now I need to interrupt uh, what happened. So I went ahead and set up a live stream. Now, I wasn't committed to that. I hadn't set out the link yet, but I set it up. Hopefully I did it right. I just explained it. You don't need to get into the details. Hold on, though. But then then Vinny goes, goes, oh, yeah, no, girl, you set this up perfectly right. We got this. It's all connected. This is great. Oh, you set it for 2.30? Perfect. We'll do it up at 2.30. And then we go to hit that 2.30. Does it work? Why did you do it this way, Carl? I knew this wouldn't work. Because we always have problems with it when you do this. It's not what happened. Oh, it's not? No. Oh, okay. That's a way more exaggerated version of it. I like, I what are you sworn, trying to do? Do a show? I could have sworn you blamed everything on me after telling me that I'd done everything correctly. In no, no. I said, this is why I never beforehand. do it this way. Okay. And that is true. But, Carl, I want you to know. <laughs> What's up? If you were hurt by my little emotional... Emotional, hurt. like here's the thing: the crew for the Carlson cast, we have so much turnover because that's my general demeanor while producing things. Yeah, I got to hear about how early Vinny got here today and how long he's been here and how little food he's had to eat. I got to hear the whole fucking thing. <laughs> You're welcome. I like being on this side. Glad like, we could squeeze you in today I like being in the this, studio. In this room, I'm gonna just do this. And he's in here drinking all my beers. <laughs> he's not even gonna leave a tip. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get into that. That's a good segue. <laughs> There, so this episode of the Artie and Anthony show from okay. 2017. Now, if people don't know, on Compound Media, it was the Anthony Cumia show, and then he changed it to the Artie and Anthony show. And honest to God, the best idea for a show on paper I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, for sure. You have two guys who are beloved from their respective morning shows. Artie Lang from the Howard Stern show all those years, who was Dynamite, right. and then Anthony Cumia who obviously was the funny, talented member of the Opie and Anthony crew. So you get these two guys together. Well, I mean, you could have gotten Norton in there. Norton would have been great as as a a sidekick for sure. But I just meant of Opie (laughs) and Anthony. Of Opie and Anthony, I meant. Little Jimmy's a great sidekick. So they do a show together, and this was a big deal that they were able to sign Artie Lang. And now that Artie's on the show, they have Stuttering John on as a guest. And it starts off as John being so defensive 
right from the get go. It's so great. Let's. I, 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 I honest to God, I'm a little nervous to watch the start of this because I imagine he comes in guns a blazing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, I want to point out that I'm I'm playing video that's behind a paywall. Please, I'm not going to show the whole thing. If you want to watch this video and thousands of others just like it, Compound Media is where you can sign up for this. Hopefully, E Rock. I didn't ask for permission, so hopefully. <laughs> I said it the other the off. other day. I told you to get the video from Iraq. I'm just kidding. I'm All just right. kidding. You did. You did tell me to get it from Iraq, but I found a way through OBS to record it, and then it was in the wrong file format, and the audio and video didn't sync, and then I had to edit that. This has been a whole production. Our software we used today was Opie No. That's <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. we used. All right, let's get into it, and uh, this is the old intro. To the Artie and Anthony show. They like it to look like a uh, old timey talk show. Or like a, uh, I don't know. What, what's that program in uh, Adobe? Uh, After Effects? Yeah, Adobe After Effects template. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of zooming in on the logo <laughs> hey, and things like that. How's everyone doing? All right, so now we got <laughs> the uh, Artie and Anthony quiet. show, of yeah. course, uh, with my co host, uh, Artie Lang. Yeah. Why did you get Artie? Look, look, look at the seat. Oh, no. Oh, it's the... Artie seats with fucking sides. The guy's 800 pounds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right off uh... the bat, John's got a joke. So Artie's not there. This was pretty typical in this time where Artie was not on time to the show, even though they taped at 4 p.m. Now, in Manhattan. Already. So can I discuss what's there. wrong with this? <laughs> a few things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's start off with, okay, Anthony's trying to do the missing milk carton joke. Correct. John came up with one joke here, and he is goddamn determined to shoehorn that fucker in right now. They're called arms on a chair, not sides. He goes, why does Artie have a chair with sides on it? He's too fat for that. He weighs 800 pounds. I knew this is what John was going to do. He was going to come in and try to be impress Anthony. Yeah. And the only way that he knows how to do that is not by being just naturally funny, is he goes to like a mean thing to put somebody else down and build himself up. That's what. Which should be I'm fine if he here. was funny about it. Yeah. Also, I want to point out before we go any further, look at Suttering John's hair. He was getting his hair dyed at Supercuts. Giuliani's back hair at that ago. press conference looks more natural. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's terrible. All right. Let's let's uh, let's see what else he has to say about Artie in this chair. <laughs> Fits in there like a sardine. That's not how a sardine joke works. Now, because sardines are packed. Like you, sardines oh, course, means it's a bunch of people I, I all packed Artie together. Little, you got to put the sardines uh, between the sides. Heard, uh, oh, Keith doesn't have a microphone. Doesn't oh no, he's <laughs> Keith doesn't have a. Artie's on heroin time. Oh my god! <laughs> Again, mm. immediately goes to heroin jokes for poor Artie, who's addicted to heroin at this time. By the way, well, I already. I, this is great that we're doing watching the video with this because just watching Anthony's face with that sardine joke where he was like, ah, and then this, he's yeah. looking the other way going, what did I do? Yep. Yeah. He doesn't know how he's going to get through this. He can't wait for Artie to get there. I, <laughs> go right for the jugular. Uh, of course. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's, uh, by the way, Garrett gave me a cold shoulder when I woke up. Garrett give you the cold yeah, shoulder? Garrett wasn't, I guess, I guess, I guess the whole team is not very happy with my tweets. What? G Garrett's, uh, Your what? tweets? Did you tweet anything about Garrett? No, I didn't hit him. Oh. I hit Keith. You did. Yeah, because, you know, he's Keith. Well, one of, uh. So Garrett's one of the players. Big... Hold on, pause this. Does he think he's Rickles? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All oh, these guys, I've been crushing him so hard. They're sore at me. He's just mad because I hit him. Hit yeah. him with a couple jabs. Right. You know? Jesus. All right, Christ. so I want to point this out. This is hard to watch already. Oh, it gets better. Uh, so I, I want to point out right now. So Garrett's an engineer, and then you got Keith the cop who they're talking to, and he's kind of the producer. He was kind of running the network at this time. So they're going to tell the story that we've documented pretty well on WATP, where they let Suttering John use the studio for his show. And then John drank all the beer and didn't give anyone money. Dude, you know what it's like when you let someone into your studio and they fuck everything up? <laughs> yeah, I've it's... seen it. You get pissed. People get pissed off. Yeah, man. It's not a good thing to do to people, Carl. People get real pissed off about things it. Things is that, uh, well, see, I think you're not going to say anything right there? What? One of Artie's big things is. Oh, oh yeah. There's a lot of Artie big and, things. See, but, but... I'm not talking about his weight. I'm talking about his fucking the heroin he's got in his pocket. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Terrible joke. <laughs> Now, he's not here to defend himself right now. 
Oh, Let's just, we'll no, we'll no, just stick with Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, and this, to everyone look at, here, this is where he starts off on the offensive right here. I, I'm going to set the record straight. Yeah, yeah. Look at he He comes in as the guest, and he's like, hold on a second before we start the show. I have done Anthony's show. This is my 10th appearance. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, Anthony, and according to Keith, unless he's bullshitting me, and according to Garrett and Ben, who's not here anymore, they said that people really like when I came on your show. They love it. And we always had a good time. And let me say, to, and I said this on my podcast. And deny that. Anthony has always been respectful and, and treated me like a peer. And we, and we wouldn't goof on each other. We would laugh at everything in the news. Uh -huh. Of course. You know, we'd laugh at Columbo. We enjoy Columbo. Just, just one more question. Just one more. Oh, no. Oh, it's so awkward. So he's got to do his Columbo joke. And now they're high-fiving. Why high -fiving. are they touching? <laughs> they're high-fiving to show Why? how well they get along. Because you hear Sonny John setting this up. He's like, you know, we used to get along so well. We were best of buddies. We never busted each other's balls. By the way, somebody says if Vinny was a wrestler, he would be Macho Man Rodney, Rodney Sausage. Okay, great. I didn't spit that out. Um, Enjoy Columbo. And we would always have a good time. It was never any. And then I knew. Did you get a super when chat? when cancer came. When I, yeah, where's my super chats? Yo, Artie was going to get fucking you to start fucking goofing on me. And like clockwork, it happened. But and, I, you know, and then day after day, you would goof on, on me. Day after day, you would goof on me. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I already the turned story. Anthony. Yeah, all right. So let me explain it for people who are just listening to this. So John's sitting there. He's got a Coors Light that he's drinking. The chair next to him is supposed to be where Artie is. Instead, they have a giant Photoshopped milk carton that says missing. Have you seen this man with a photo of Artie on it? It should be just like a wanted poster mix missing. 12 pack of Coors Light. Yes. Oh, yeah. W watch how many beers John goes through. And he does not stay on for the entire episode. This is impressive. No, this is it's not. So easily you turn. This is not true. I could look back at, at certain tweets that I made before I even, oh, we were even talking about Artie being on my show, where I talked about El Chapo. I said that, you know. I did that bit a year that. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still funny. Yes, I look exactly like the fucking so. Player. So when we I got arrested in fucking Baja the other day, <laughs> so when, so when oh, he's proud of himself. Look at that little. I look. read the news. Look at that little look over to his friend, which we'll get into more. Already brought that up. I was like, yeah, fuck, it's funny. Uh, and and oh wait, 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 stop, stop sugarcoating this bullshit. Stuttering Juan is kind of funny. yeah. No, that's fine. I don't mind shit. But then you go and goof it on my movie. Well, okay. <laughs> hey, oh, so Jets no. come in. He's already complaining. That they've goofed on him. Like, he's starting this off in a really bad way. Do you realize that the first thing he did was walk in and go, Artie's fat and on heroin. Yes. And by the way, we have to talk. Yeah. Artie's making you be mean to me. Yeah. This is, that's, you've summed it up perfectly. Yeah. And now he's going to go through all the things that hurt his feelings, things that the rest of us would call jokes and entertainment. But to Stuttering John, this is very hurtful. They were being very hurtful at work today. And it's my senatorial campaign. I watched the movie from beginning to end. You're the only one. That's fucking. <laughs> that's pretty good. And <sighs> and look, if I I would be remiss in my duties if I did not make some jokes about. Uh, Have you seen Artie's movie? What? Were there any beer league jokes? One, one too many. Saw yes. Dirty Work. Just, that was pretty good. Was, was already too many. <laughs> <laughs> did you make any jokes on fucking Artie's movie? Artie's movie. Uh, I watched Beer League. And I, I liked it. Oh, it All right. So now John's going, there has to be equal time. If you're going to goof on my movie, then you have to goof on Artie's movie, too. So, no, that's not how this works He's at not all. the fucking NBC <laughs> Evening News. Right. He doesn't have to fucking <laughs> right. do, work with the fairness doctrine, Correct. you dumb asshole. Correct. Which is a weird argument to come in and make anyway. Because on a why, comedy show, why even bring up your movie? It's embarrassing. And Beer League is a better movie. Beer he, League's there, not great. What but it's he a doesn't movie. realize is they're actually sitting here mocking Artie Lang right this very second. Correct. There behind is his the, back. Behind his back, yep. Artie Lang. They are mocking Artie, but he is so butthurt by this, yep. he can't even let the show fucking start. What, but. Oh, what a fucking ass kisser. You Look, know, fuck you. I'm not that saying. Movie was equally as bad as I'm mine. not saying it's fucking. Judd's argument is that Artie's movie is equally as bad as his? I mean, that's a, not a great argument to make there. In uh. Animal House or Caddyshack. So but, what is it? But it was. It's uh, not weird science. Uh, no, let me put it on. I'm, I'm going to try to find a comedy. 
It's me, could... Wally Sparks. <laughs> no. No. It was, good. Uh, it was a good uh, vehicle for Artie himself. Lang. Give me the shittiest Rodney Dangerfield movie you could find. I will take it over fucking anything John has directed or written or has even appeared in. It's Ladybugs. I've watched it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's like a soccer coach for like a little girl's team. <laughs> Wasn't it that kid, uh, that heartthrob kid who killed himself? Like the main I hope star so. Yeah. I hope so. I, I wish everyone on that set killed themselves after making that movie. Ugh. But it's still way better than One Too Many. Have still you watched funnier. One Too Many? Yes. I watched Mersh watch it, which was a lot of fun. Oh, God. It's really, it, it's a good uh, video stream if you ever want to check that out. So I want, I want to point something out, an observation. I watched this yesterday, but kind of like doing other things too. So some of this is new to me. Just an observation. I just noticed like John says something and then laughs at his own joke. Like he's like, <laughs> am I right? I don't think he laughs at anyone else's jokes. I think he only laughs when he says things. Is he trying to do an imitation of Robert De Niro? <sighs> like everything he's doing, he's yeah, cracking himself up so hard that it is disgusting to watch. A good vehicle. The only good vehicle for Artie is when he has a designated driver. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say a hearse. <laughs> That would have been no, a better joke. That would have been the that, joke. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. They have one on hold outside. <laughs> but just to address the cold shoulder staff, okay, this is there great. was a little confusion, I think, because, you know, when John, when John was doing his podcast from here, he was supposed to, you know, maybe take care of the staff, was he understanding, at the studio for free, oh, oh. and maybe leave a couple beers in the refrigerator. But apparently the guy said John drank all the beer and then walked out and, you, oh! you know, give a reach to oh, the guys. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so you, Keith has just laid it out here, right? Now, I want to point something out. You know this, Vinny, because you go way back with ONA. Anthony hates confrontation. This was Opie's thing. Yes. Was to get the guest in and then there's confrontation. Let's, you know, so it gets real all, awkward. All of those Anthony of hates you, this. He all hates of it. you who think that Opie is good for nothing, you right. are incorrect. Yeah, there is one good thing he is. There's one thing he is good at. It's he, being a dick. He liked cringe, not cringe comedy, but cringe is what Opie was into. And he was very good at that. So now we've started off this confrontation. You can see John right now is fired up. He was just told to use the studio, didn't leave any beers, didn't take care of the guys. Let's hear his uh Dude, rebuttal. that still of him right there is great. That should have been the fucking cover of his like senatorial pamphlets. <laughs> yeah, by the way, at this time he's still trying to run for senator of California. Yeah. He thought he was gonna beat out uh Feinstein. To become the next senator of California. I'm not even joking. They That's the that conversation. fucking funniest thing He's we've said so today. He's so delusional. All right. uh, I'm sorry. I'm used to the, the fucking Tonight Show, Keith, where they have all the beer and they don't expect tips. No, we, we do what have the all the is beer. This? Is this maybe you don't bar? just drink it all. Am I, I don't know. pub in Woodland Hills? I got to leave a tip when I get a fucking beer? Get the fuck out of here. That's no, yeah. fun. No. Gary, you got a problem? Let's do it right now, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start tipping for fucking Coors Lights. No, not Are tipping them. fucking kidding? Giving them the service of recording the uh, podcast. Nobody asked me for tips. You know. All right. Do, are you following this video? Nobody. A I have never walked into anywhere where they said we require tips. So he, you just know. That's not what he's saying. He's not saying you have to tip us for the Coors Light. He was saying we have the engineers here working to do, record your podcast. I understand that. But I'm just John saying. John doesn't. He does he not just understand screamed. this. He yeah. just yelled. Nobody told me I had to tip. Yeah, and what I'm saying is. I know. On what fucking that's planet how, does how, anyone tell anyone that? That's not how tipping works. Right. It's a courtesy that you should either now. <laughs> no, that'll come know. in about two weeks. Yeah, but you're right. You were supposed to take yeah, care of the staff. <laughs> but just to address the cold shoulder staff thing. There was a little confusion, I think, because, you know. When John, when John was doing his podcast from here, he was supposed to, you know, maybe take care of the staff, was he understanding, at the studio for free, uh -oh. and maybe leave a couple beers in the refrigerator, but apparently the guy said John drank all the beer and then walked out and, you uh -oh. know, give a reach to oh, the guys. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You know? I'm sorry. I'm used to the, the fucking Tonight Show, Keith, where they have all the beer and they don't expect tips. No, we, we do what have the all the beer. This, we just maybe you don't bar? just drink it all. Am I, I don't know. pub in Woodland Hills? I gotta leave a tip when I get a fucking beer? Get the fuck out of here. That's yeah, yeah. fun. Garrett, you got a problem? Let's do it right now. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah. Oh. They just let him drink all the beers at the Tonight Show? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. When you're a guest on the Tonight Show, I'm sure that they're very courteous. Sure. If there's beers left after John's been here, feel free to help yourself. <laughs> yeah, I know. Welcome to the Tonight it's like Show. You're not a guest on the Tonight Show, you idiot. We're letting you use the studio as a curd. All right, they get into it.
I'm gonna start tipping for fucking Coors Lights. No, not Are tipping them. Tipping them for their service of recording the uh, podcast. Nobody asked me for tips. You know, I said just take I, care of the staff. Andy, I, I mean, go to you know. your house. Yeah. We hang out and we drink beer. Do you ever ask me for a tip? No, no. I think this is more of a business setting. Right, right. And we I gave think you the uh, studio any for of the free, beers, but I'd say take care of the guy. Can you hear all the chatter going on? So there's people in the studio audience, which we'll see later. But there's also people in the engineering room. So you got Garrett. Who are Keith. all probably screaming. They're all screaming at John back there. <laughs> no, we're not hurting money. Time, you know, know what? We just they, do right, hey, we do right by our friends. They do bucks. right by the guys. That's Buy all. some more bullets for your fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me. Uh, it's for the staff. Gonna, hey, he's going to need them after this show. <laughs> <laughs> here's your 20 bucks in... In, this is this is twenty bucks for the fucking shitty beer you served me last time I was here. But yeah. the stack, he still he's, doesn't understand. He's it. still not understanding what the argument. He is. just put a twenty dollar bill down on that table, and how and how long does it stay on the table before not he long. puts it back in his pocket? Not long. Okay. Not what are those singles? <laughs> They're not pocky. <laughs> oh, oh, look, he goes right for the jugular, and now he starts calling on Anthony because one of those singles, and he, he calls a pock face for it. Jesus, John. You're, wow. This is a weird way to start an appearance on a show, I gotta be honest. But the best part of all of this still shot right now, I hope you people are watching this live, is the arty leg milk carton still just sitting next to John <laughs> as he's shuffling through the filthy lucre that was in his disgusting pocket. Oh, it's all just crumpled up and rolled what up. What adult keeps their money like this? What adult. adult? He looks like he's walking up as a child to buy something to the store going, is it this many? <laughs> <laughs> he's just fucking balls what of cash. Oh, okay. Soon that picture won't be on the 20 anymore. Who's going to be on there? Fucking John Melendez. <laughs> Isn't it Harry? Is Senator, Harry is Senator John uh, Melendez. That's right. Now, so where were we now? We well, we ahead. would still talk about this. I didn't know that. Guys. I, not just the beer. the tip. I think. Beer. I'm sorry. I'm I think in, the staff. I've done a lot of television He's still not understanding. I tip. John, He's still not understanding. John, it, see, Holy shit. Keep this worried about a tip. I'll, 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 fucking a producer. I'll, a John, listen. He's a producer of fucking television. John, listen I'll to your, try to, your ears for a second. Tip. He's from Massapequa, which I'm from. It's the shittiest town <laughs> in the world. And this fucking white trash wants a tip when I'm on his show. Jesus. He's calling this guy. The guy <laughs> who produces the whole network. He's calling him white trash. <laughs> he's not understanding this at all. You would think our video is just completely. I cannot even believe I'm watching. <laughs> I know this. this is great. You would. Would you come out guns a blazing? And then finding out you're completely in the wrong. Would you feel weird about that? I don't know that I would be this guns a blazing John if I I feel him. like this is the guy who's trying to argue with a manager at a store who's just like going, no, sir, it's this. But he just doesn't want to hear that and he wants to be right. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is great. And fucking subscribers, he wants a tip for a few fucking beers. Get the fuck out of here. John, I think I can explain. All, right. All those, uh, the other shows that actually work here on the wall, there's pictures of the staff. It's part of the whole thing that they produce and, and put the show on and tape it and everything like that. Uh, you were taping one of your podcasts here. Which is like we didn't we didn't ask for a studio rental because you're a friend. Oh, but you could throw the guys a few bucks for actually sitting there and doing the work on, oh, on the, the oh, equipment. Exactly. All right. So, okay. This wow. has been explained to him four times. I almost don't want to hear his answer. This has been explained four times to him now. Anthony had to break it down yet again of why they expected him to throw some money to the guys who were working there because they weren't volunteering their time to hang out with stuttering John Melendez. And the Stuttering John pod. Artie didn't even fucking show up to be on the show with them <laughs> Right. So far. Anything to do with a beer. Oh, Instead, so, he okay, threw his okay, empties okay. all over the ground. Okay. And that's Garrett going, yeah. Not only did he not give us money, we had to clean up after this fucking asshole. <laughs> wow. Okay, oh, yes. Yeah, so, and, right. and they said they had to clean hey, up Keith, after you, hey, too. Hey, Keith, oh. hey, Keith, let's go with your premise. So the nine shows I've done... Whatever you guys promise. wanted me, I came here, I took the bullet. When I did Anthony's show, I was on his show at the compound. Then we, then you asked me, can we do another show? All right, so now he's saying, and this was the, the Chrissy Mayer defense too. Him doing your show is doing you a favor. He doesn't realize that being a guest on someone else's show is what you do to build an audience well, and to promote things that you're doing. Isn't, isn't letting you use all of our equipment and staff to do your show a favor as well? Yes, correct. But John thinks they owe him. Because he's been a guest on the show nine different times. That's what he just said. Yeah. So instead of saying, guys, this is a misunderstanding and now I feel dumb. I apologize. I should have thrown some, some money to the guys. Instead of saying that, he goes, you guys owe me. 
you know, down in a theater when we watch Columbo. Oh, believe right. me, my memory's better than yours. And then <laughs> I oh say yes. God. So now I do want you do me one favor. And now Correct. I got to fucking tip you? Not me. Well, you just had to take care of the staff. That's what we discussed. Well, but nobody told me I was going to take care I of the staff. I did, yeah. I said, you, the studio's free. It's our gift to you as our friend. Yeah. Just take care of the staff. Okay, and I, then, I, I, then I, I'm remiss. Okay. <laughs> That's how that word works. I'm remiss. I'm remiss. I am remiss. Guys, how much you Hold on. <laughs> Can I point out? <laughs> you're, you just are... a, you're just a miss, John. That's what you are. <laughs> You know, the, the best part of this so far is watching Anthony try to figure out what to do. Yes. Now he's just doing like little happy pantomimes like, yes, we welcomed you. He doesn't know Anthony's what to do. he's lost control of his show at this point. Completely lost control of his show. He doesn't understand why a comedian, Centering John, would come on and just start fighting with everybody. Nobody else would do this. Only John thinks like this. You guys have been talking shit about me ever since Artie came over here. And he's and not even doubling up. down. He's quadrupled down on stupid <laughs> yeah, I know. so far. This Great. is incredible. Oh, wait till Artie gets there. Well, how much you want? $1,000? Should I write you a check? Oh, no, no, it's Jesus. not to me. It's want to a piece of my fucking 401k? I don't take a check. <laughs> don't take a check. <laughs> I can bounce it to you. Here's a bounce pass. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. <laughs> he goes, you want a piece of my 401k? So that's the first place John goes. Is like, oh, what do you want to do? You want to bankrupt me? Like, no, we just thought you could throw us a few bucks. I mean, if you're hurting, it's, it's fine. I mean, what do you think would be an appropriate amount of money to give everybody 50 bucks for coming in and doing that? I don't know how long his show was, but I, I would think about probably an hourly rate per person and do that. So let's say it was 50 bucks an hour per engineer. There were two engineers. If you went for two hours, I might throw 400 bucks at him. I don't know. What okay. do you think? Yeah. I mean, honest Makes to sense. God, I wouldn't expect that for free no in fact that's why i came to this studio because i wanted free studio time i, I would have gone somewhere nice if i had money to spend tap in your pockets like so many nickels and dimes Nick, yeah, nickels and dimes. you just want to be able to draw from the well they nickel did dime me. they did have the nickels from all the returns that john threw on the floor and they I made the returns and they got a million dollars we got a multi-millionaire <laughs> worried about one fucking thing. John, I just heard that they did. They took back all your bottles, deposit bottles, and made thousands <laughs> from what you were drinking that day. <laughs> well, Keith, I'm sorry. I apologize. He is I not to the staff, but thank you. I appreciate it. He keeps, keeps keep saying, it's not about me. John, it's not about me. These are the guys who are running the show, that were running the show for you that didn't, that got ripped off. Fudgesicle. apologizing to me. Fudgesicle just said something really smart. He said, for a dummy like John, the staff are even more valuable than the equipment. Correct. Exactly right. Especially back then. If you guys remember, this was back when he was doing a show with Royce, or maybe right before he did the show with Royce, because he needed someone else's studio and someone else's equipment. He still doesn't know how to run his own stuff. I mean, nah. I, I want to talk at this point. Maybe that's going to fall a little flat in this context. <laughs> I'm I having the same I struggle. John. I have no problem with the staff. I even love Ben. Great time, wherever he is. I love Ben. Oh, he's sucking a cock somewhere. <laughs> a little faggot. <laughs> is he gay? That's what they was I don't know. playing. I have no I, idea. I like Ben. You know, he's, he a good, my, he's a good kid. Ben did my website for my, uh, you know, oh, did. campaign. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, pay you him? Oh, for the campaign. Yeah. yeah. How is that going? Oh, oh. Now I'm gonna. Now we're gonna hear uh -oh. about the hypocrisy oh. of Anthony Coombe. Uh, now he's gonna call it Anthony Coombe. What is, what's wrong with this guy? He just got caught being a, uh. a schmoo, like a a guy who just. Ripped everybody off. God, this is the e like this. Okay, watching <laughs> Anthony during this, I swear to God, Anthony, I hope you hear this. Someone send this to him, Anthony. I'm complimenting you because you are not only working so hard, you are also working so little. You're just yeah. letting this fucking idiot go. Yeah. But goddamn, how he handled this is yeah. unreal. Now we will discuss this at length. So everyone, this is the hypocrisy of my good, buddy. Good politician. Anthony He's Cooney. rambling on, not answering the question. Here is the hypocrisy of you. When I was at Anthony Cumia's house, we were down in the compound having a great time, which we always do. Anthony said to me, I swear to God, and if you if you deny this, then I'm gonna call you a liar. He said, John, I'm so excited that you're running, I will support you. You told me that. And you said you would wear my t shirt on your show. Where's the t shirt? You got to donate, Anthony, and you get a free T-shirt. Oh, <laughs> John, did you, you see how he answered that? Like, what do you think? I'm just going to hand you a T-shirt to wear on your show? Well, yeah. That's how, I mean, that's actually would be a really 
good way to get your name out there um, and promote yourself. I swear to Christ, I would wear a stuttering John for Senate t-shirt. I would too. Yeah, I would rock that everywhere. But I wouldn't donate in order to get it. Correct. Could you believe that? He goes, you said that you would wear my shirt. Well, did you give me a shirt? Well, no, you never gave me any money for one. Well, that wasn't the conversation. What are you talking about? Anyway. You notice how he said, I'll support you now. I think you'd make a great senator. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. They, they get, oh, they get into that. Here's what I did. I, I, here's what I did. Whatever drink was in my hand at the time that I had probably had 10 or 12 of in the compound. You blame it on the alcohol? No, no. I wouldn't do that because then I'd have to blame everything on alcohol. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, John, I'm so glad you're running. I'm so proud. I will support you 100%. There you go. There you go. So, oh wait, as a friend. So I not as a can. Do you think I? I do you think I actually uh, like your your platform and All what right. you're running on? Okay. But as I mean, it's pretty well documented that Anthony and Stuttering John have very different political views. If Stuttering John was actually in the Senate, Anthony would probably go to jail in whatever state that John's in charge of. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. So this is laughable. Hey, uh, somebody's is asking if we could turn that volume up a little bit. I did just turn it up. I did. Uh, I saw that. Okay, cool. Just so I, sure. I turned the volume up in the video. Guys, let us know if that sounds better now. Going Sorry. Forward. Yep. No, I appreciate it. It's a now, friend. See, see, Anthony doesn't know this is a game of chess. Okay. Now, let's go with that premise. Okay. Now, when Donald Trump was running, you said to me, you know he's a fucking idiot. I, but, I said but you said, yeah. but you will support him because he's anti-establishment. He's not the typical Washington. Absolutely. So then w going with that premise, yeah. why then not support me, who's anti-Washington, who's, who, you know, he was not in that fucking mold. I think every- Can I answer this for Anthony? Please. Well, if I have to choose which idiot I'm going to support, yeah. I'm going to support the one who is a rich multi-gajillionaire. Versus the guy who stiffed all my staff and left a trail of cockroaches and empties all over my goddamn studio. I love that John is trying to paint himself as anti-establishment. Listen to his political discourse these days. It is very pro-establishment. He is very pro-Biden only... and he loves the swap in Washington now. Back then he's like, oh yeah, this is terrible. The only thing that is he would be anti-establishment about is because the establishment is anti-John. <laughs> like, if he showed yeah. up and they were just like, get this guy the fuck out, he'd be like, the establishment is my enemy. Yes, yeah. exactly. You, uh, your platform is about is every California Democrat fucking liberal shit that, like, you know, I'll support you because you're a friend, but I hate all that liberal stuff. Anthony, okay, but oh. let me ask you a question. Now you got to, and I'm going to ask yeah. you guys this. Why is he getting serious about this? See, what John should have said right there is like, I know, we don't agree on, on politics. That's fine. We're friends. You think that he believes he's killing with this audience right now? <laughs> I know, he keeps addressing. I'm watching the body language. Like, <laughs> it looks like he's acting like somebody's like, come on, everybody, you know you're with me. <laughs> I know, he really does think. The funniest thing about him is the Photoshop of Artie on a missing milk carton next to him. There's no other comedy going on on this show. John's talking about his political ambitions. And Anthony's not even trying to be funny. He's like, you know I hate that shit, dude. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would I give you money? Now, let's go with the next premise. Now, I know the odds are against me. They have always been in my life. They're zero! The, the, the percentage chance of John becoming a U.S. senator is zero. It was amazing that he was actually <laughs> right about one thing. This entire <laughs> the odds are show. against me. Yeah, no shit. So far, he finally got one in the win column. But if I won and I became a U.S. senator, yeah, your sexual harassment things are going to be gone. Oh, Jesus. You'll never have a ticket. I'll so now John has accused Anthony of being convicted for sexual harassment. Now, this let's, is, see how, let's see how Anthony uh, deals with this. This is a great campaign move. Like, I don't think Schumer <laughs> would go on somebody's show and be like, yeah, you know, by the way, if you vote for me, I want to make sure all of your sexual harassment charges disappear. Yeah, that's a... That's and I'll the, fix all your parking tickets for you. That's the dumbest thing you could say for a number of reasons. Yeah. You're not going to get someone on your side if you're like, hey, listen, I know how you are with broads. And <laughs> if you vote for me, we'll make sure no one else knows about that, idiot. Be here to do your show as a U.S. <laughs> fucking senator. I won't be fondling tits like Al Franken. <laughs> I'll be here to support you, and and I'll be a guest whenever you want. Mm, John, now think about the long term picture to this. First of all, let me clear uh, the air here and say I have never been up on any sexual harassment charges in my life. Oh, didn't you ever? Uh, someone said you pled guilty to, to that strangling thing. No. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ, John. He's the fucking best. They were friends. Holy shit. Someone Holy said, people shit. are saying that you're kind of a, a douchebag and he pled guilty in a terrible thing. Yeah, the, the, the strangling thing. The strangling. That was a did domestic get it wrong? violence charge. Oh, I'm sorry. Which was pled down. I did not do any of it. I had to plea did I not bargain. Support you? Did I not support you? Yes, I would hope my friends would, knowing who I am. Okay, wait, stop, uh, they, stop, yeah. stop, stop, stop. No, Look at those no. armpits. Jesus. Did you just see the armpit sweat under that yes. fucking shitty t-shirt? I wish I could bag this up just a little bit. You can. Yeah, just, right, there we, oh, no, then I went too far. Hold no, on. you just put it. There you go. Oh, whoop, whoop. I don't know. But I don't know where I am now. But, all right. So, Anthony says something nice, and John has to stop the show yet again. Which ended up being a vile. All right, let me back that up. Long-term picture to this. First of all, let me clear uh, the air here and say I have never been up on any sexual harassment did charges too. in my life. Oh, didn't like, you ever? Uh, someone said you pled guilty to, to that strangling thing. No, that was Holy a shit. domestic violence charge. Oh, I'm sorry. Which was pled down. I did not do any of it. I had to did plea I not bargain. Support you? Did I not support you? Yes, I would hope my friends would, knowing who I am. Okay, wait, stop. Uh, they, stop, stop, yeah. stop. Stop. Now, let's just... Just to analyze what he said. Those fucking Why? I didn't finish. Why? I not support you? He said, yes, I would hope my friends would. Yeah. Now, I'm running for senator of the great state of California. I would hope my friends I did. I said I would support me. you. You see, how, you see how it should go both ways? I did. See, John's talking about money exchanging hands, and Anthony's talking about friendliness. Like, let's support each other in this. You know I'm a good guy. Have my back in this. And John's going, yeah, 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 but I support you by saying you're a great guy, and then you give me money, because that's because you support me. <laughs> what an idiot. This is really... What a weird way to start off an interview, isn't it? I, I can't even believe we're only 11 minutes, like 12 I know, minutes I into know. this. We start I feel, moving. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'll sit here all goddamn day and Good. watch this. I'm captivated right now. That's great. But what I'm trying to understand is he had the opportunity to come on this show and talk about anything. He could have talked about his Senate campaign. He could have discussed the issues with someone who doesn't agree with him. Sure. Maybe won some people over. But instead, he is sitting there arguing, going, you don't support me, and bitching that already made you mean to me. That's a great point. Imagine if when Anthony said, listen, I support you as a friend, but I'm not going to support your policies. They're the liberal policies that have caused all the problems in California. If John would have said, no, it's different, and I'll tell you why. You know, and, and explained why he'd be different than Diane Feinstein or wh whatever he wanted to say. Right. That would be the opportunity to do that. Get into a little debate about it if you want to. Instead, she's like, no, 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 give me money. Give, why aren't you giving me money? You said you would support me, and I haven't seen a dime from you. <laughs> it's incredible. I'd put money on John doesn't even own a John Melendez for Senate t-shirt. He might own hundreds of them. <laughs> no, no. I'll bet you anything. He probably got on some site that makes them oh, as to yeah, order. That's true. And he probably doesn't even own one. That's that's probably true. Would you wear one if you had one? A uh, stuttering John for Senate shirt? Yeah. Yeah. I would too. Yeah. You say I'd support you as a friend. Have you donated? No. Why not? Wow. The balls on this guy. Chris, uh, Christina just said that she'll mail one to Pickwick Pub for him. <laughs> All right. She makes sure. That would be really funny. Yeah, that's a good idea. Say it's from Carl. All right. Just try not to put too much anthrax in it this time. Yeah. Not yet? When's the election? I need the money. I gotta buy bumper stickers. Let me help. <laughs> I need refrigerator magnets. <laughs> I'm, so proud of I, I'm finishing. I pled gu uh, guilty to a uh, uh, plea bargain, which ended up being a violation, which is not even a, a ticket. Because it was all a bullshit, violation of her and I didn't want to go to trial airpipe. on a he said, she said, when my my uh, recorders in my house, video recorders, disappeared, by the way. Oh. They disappeared. Well, Anthony. The cops took them, and then they disappeared. So I wasn't going to go through that. So, yes, I pled guilty, did not do any of it. Anthony, Yeah. now I'm going to just say two things. And I would hope as a friend, knowing me as long as we've known each other, that you could tell by Anthony. who I am that I wouldn't do that. Anthony, I don't do that did shit. I not say this on this show and on my own podcast? That you were innocent. The one that you did here when you didn't pay the staff. <laughs> Gets a shot in. I love it. Did I, I not it. say that I supported you, that I believe you, and... You you absolutely did. Wait a second. What he said was, if you, if I become a senator, I'll get rid of your sexual harassment stuff. That doesn't sound like someone who believes Anthony and supports him. <laughs> I know you're up to some really bad shit. 
but I but got I'll, your back. We'll keep it all nice and quiet. <laughs> I mean, so obviously I was just kidding around before. Oh, a joke. Well, now let me start. He tells a joke. I'm supposed to identify it as a joke and not get mad. It wasn't a joke. a joke about John, and it's heroin addict, pocky face, <laughs> asshole, shithead, fuck this, fuck that. Nailed it! Here's what I love about Fucking this. Fucking nailed it. Thank you, Anthony. What you I love about this is it took 13 minutes into this show <laughs> yep. for the little boy who was sitting at the table with his dad threw the plate of spaghetti at the wall, <laughs> who just fucking crawled yeah. into himself at that moment to come out and be like, well, this fucking guy yeah. is I'm He done. does not want to have this conversation with Stuttering John. He does not want to have a confrontation with him. Judd has forced him. He's probably got stories ready to go. He's got <laughs> notes in front of him. Oh, yeah. He's got a whole thing. His co-host doesn't show up. And then look who's here. Yeah. Ready yeah. to go. Here's the difference. Oh, please enlighten me. I'm here with you right now. Is that the you punishment? Do it when I'm sitting <laughs> a coward goofs on somebody when they're not here. No? Like, like, look, if a coward goofs on somebody when they're not there. He's been goofing on Artie since the show started. Look and at this chin has size. That was his first thing he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? And 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 I'm goofing. Were you on just Artie. goofing on Artie who isn't here? Yes. He, yeah, he's done the same to me. I'm just <laughs> coming back. You just said a coward goofs on someone who's not here. All right, I'm a coward then. <laughs> oh, John, he gets caught in this hypocrisy. The same thing happened when he was threatening uh -huh. us after we reviewed his show the first time. And he goes, they can't play my clips. They don't have the right to play my clips. And Royce goes, we play clips from the Howard Stern show all the time. Yeah, but that's different. <laughs> no, it's not. John, you're a hypocrite. All the time you get caught in this, in this hypocrisy. It's great. Oh, he's uh, just a piece of work. <laughs> he really is. I want to, somebody screenshot that. Holy fuck. Oh, Put that so on a t-shirt. There's so many good screenshots. I us. want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Senator Melendez. Honestly, Vinny, I can't believe you thought you were going to have him on your show and it would be entertaining. He's the Oh, no, I would have made it entertaining. I don't think so. I don't think you can make. Well, this are is you? Actually, do you not think this is entertaining? This is actually entertaining. Uh, uh, Alyssa Giordana and uh, Anthony Cumia have both done a good job. Hey, Carl, I saw like. what you just did there to adjust the volume. Yeah. Now you see where your mouse is right now, yeah. and you see where the volume is with that little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Go slide over to that, uh -huh. and that's how you actually turn up the volume on the video. All right, buddy. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's gonna be here. Well, we hope. Well, we hope. We hope. Gonna... Have, have we heard any word? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of traffic. He'd be right here. Oh, okay. Traffic. <laughs> what was heroin in the real world? Oh, gee. <laughs> I mean, these, oh, these jokes man. are just not landing. How Can does I John say, not know this? I believe the expression in the business is, John, you're past the post office, pal. <laughs> right. Come on back. Yep. Come on back. It's like, these jokes are not landing. Oh, there's traffic to his heroin dealer? And I mean, like... On. His deal has been trafficking is a better joke than that. Not see yeah. this going well <laughs> once he gets here uh, with with uh, the likes of that. No, hey, here's the truth. Here's the truth, Anthony. Yeah. First of all, <clears throat> yes, yes, I I don't mind you goofing on me and shit. It what? I don't mind you. He came out guns a blazing. All right, let's let's find out how he ends this sentence. Holy shit! I don't mind you goofing on me. He started off with. Why? Since, since Artie got here, all you guys are doing is goofing on <laughs> yes, me. Yes, correct, but he doesn't mind. He fucking grabbed the microphone. It was pointing <laughs> took fingers. over the show. <laughs> Who else has a problem with me here? Garrett? Keith? Say it. What do you got? He's like, I don't mind. It's uh, fine. This is great. All right, how is he going to finish this sentence? But, but we hold don't on, get Hold on. Hold on. Can you movie? let me finish now? Oh. Okay. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, John Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. As the future senator of the great state of California, I have to just say one thing. When Artie Lang was doing five hours on me with every fucking friend of mine that I thought I had, Jackie the Joke Man, Steve Grillo, Jim Florentine, Gilbert Godfrey, every show for an hour, he goofed on me. Every show. And it, in one show, Steve Grillo, the fucking, the, which is, he's almost, he should be wearing a hockey helmet. <laughs> Steve Grillo decided to goof on my fucking kid. <clears throat> and okay. So now we've gotten to the crux of the matter because Anthony goes, what's the difference? We, we're all busting each other's balls. And John goes, well, when it gets personal. And goes, I made fun of your movie. What do, you, what do you mean when it gets personal? So now John has tried to figure out, oh, shit, how do I end this story? All right. So this person was on this person. Oh, Grillo said something about my kid. So this is not about Artie or Anthony. This is about John's current friend. It's about Steve Grillo. Grillo making a joke and already giving him a platform to right, do it. Right, right. 
that's see, no one goes there. That's off limits to me. I get, I became, get that completely. And it became where, like, I'll kick your fucking ass if you do that. You know, so. Wait, then it became where I'll kick your fucking ass if you do that. That sounds like your reaction to whatever was said. Then it became, okay. He girl decided to goof with my kid, and my kid doesn't want that. I get you. And That's, I don't want that. I agree 110% on that so, one. So Artie called me after the our little Twitter war. And he apologized. Mm -hmm. And I said, I go, I go, all right. I go, you know, you could have edited it out. It's, it wasn't a live show. And he did. So this isn't even a problem with compound media. This was a different show that Artie was doing with Steve Grillo, where Artie apologized for the content and that wasn't good enough. Do you think Artie knows how to edit anything out of a podcast, Vinny? No. Do you think he's ever used software in his life? Uh, no, I think he's done more soft serve than software. Correct. And, and he apologized. And that's it. I love Artie. Artie's my friend, and, <laughs> I, and I hope that this could be kismet. Now, you're going to probably try and make it a big war here. I would never do that. I'm not the guy. I don't like the war You thing. just we did. Like a, yeah, you just did. Correct. Wow. Jo John came in calling out everyone and telling them to come at him. And now he's like, and now, Anthony, what you're going to do, probably. It's like, don't project your bullshit on Anthony. <laughs> Here, Kevin Brennan and, and Artie, because they had like a beef going. And it ended up great. I, I don't like the uh, war or battle or anything like that. I like people talking shit out. That's it. Talking shit out, Senator uh, Melendez. So you say it with freaking, the, like you're goofing on me. Senator, Jesus, John. How insecure is this guy? You say that it like was... you're goofing on me. He just <sighs> said, hey, listen, I think it would be great. You guys could all work it out. Like he's trying to put the fucking ribbon on the goddamn package. Yeah, let's move along. Let's we're, we're this we're this is over now, right? We're good. That's what he's trying to do. No, long comes the John. senator in 2018. <laughs> Who, who's the congressman? Beetlejuice. <laughs> we go. That'd be funny, right? That's from Back to the Future. See, John took offense to that. That is a great Doc Brown joke. Great Doc Brown reference with Anthony Cooper. Who's known the for. Beetlejuice. <laughs> that's the congressman. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Oh God! Let's let's. I I, I suppose Tan Bob is the first lady. Is John gonna like go into like, you know? I was just trying to be serious here for yeah. a moment. Oh yeah, oh. he just got his feelings hurt because everyone was laughing because he was he was the butt of the joke. Moving, please. Okay, and now let me just ask you that. Thing. Ronald Reagan is president. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Explain it to now, me. Now I just want to ask you one thing, Anthony. Uh huh. You know, before you know, I would hope you'd ask me a few things. We have a lot of time here. Oh good. <laughs> um, why not? You're a multimillionaire, self-proclaimed one. <laughs> self? I don't think you could be a self-proclaimed multimillionaire. <laughs> Watch well, yeah. me. I'm a self-proclaimed multimillionaire. Well, I've heard you say you made a great living when you had your few at Opie. You did. And you have millions it's of some dollars. good investments. I've been in your house. It's fucking a mansion. So he goes, you're self-proclaimed multimillionaire. And he's like, what are you talking about? I've been to your house. There's not <laughs> yeah. cardboard boxes filled with cockroaches <laughs> everywhere. Right. Your green screens are attached to walls. <laughs> Not, I've been to your house. That's not being self-proclaimed. Hold on. Does your stove work? <laughs> is your gas turned on? Your gas is turned yes, on. And, and why not? It, are you a fan of Diane Feinstein? Oh, God. Uh, no. So why not have get me in me? Yeah. Why? John thinks that Anthony's going to be his fucking meal ticket to because, become a senator. Because he we? doesn't live in California, and yes. he'd rather vote for the Republican. Correct. Plus, isn't there a pretty low limit as to what a single donor can give to someone running for the Senate? It's not as if Anthony Cooney's going to give this guy hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars that's going to help him with his campaign. I mean, he's like, maybe Ant's worth a couple mil. Let's say Ant's worth a couple sure. mil. What is an appropriate percentage to give to your friend running for office? Zero. Correct. The, but the, the, Your friend who has the exact opposite political views as you is zero. Is correct. The appropriate I, mean, I, I don't know. I, if somebody gave you a check for a thousand bucks, you say thank you. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what the fuck this guy wants. It's unreal. Living when you had your few with Opie. He did. And you have millions it's of Some dollars. good investments. I've been in your house. It's fucking a mansion. Love it. Yes. And and why not? It, are you a fan of Diane Feinstein? Uh, no. So why not have get me in me? Yeah. Why not? Because I'm that's gonna like. That's like Heinrich Himmler, though, going, are you a fan of Hitler? Get me in there. <laughs> first of all, Anthony. Anthony yeah. you, first of all, come on. Do you see how Anthony's trying to be funny and keep it white? And when he says stuff, people laugh. And when John says stuff, it just gets, like, really 
serious every yeah. fucking time. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, though, why wouldn't, like, can't you give me money right now? He's not going to be happy till he whips out his checkbook. You realize that, right? Hey, where did that $20 bill go that he had out of the table? Ah, oh, I didn't even notice. It's gone. <laughs> it was like a magic trick. <laughs> it disappeared a while ago. <laughs> I love that this turned into, I got all this money. Oh, you guys want money? I'll start throwing money around. Then he's like, why won't you give me money? Why would you make this a topic of conversation on someone's shower? Why would you give me money? I did shitty song of the week last week, and I did not ask for any money. You should have. I'm going to. <laughs> I don't mean oh, Nazi. Man. I'm just kidding. They do a good job over there, Brandon. Who? Does a nice job Is that the kid's there. name? Wise, I mean, we're a friend. You know, all I'm going to do is commercials, like trying to, like, you know, denounce freaking Feinstein and De Leon. Yeah. Well, that, because, well, in a primary. Yeah. And then, you know, if you make it to the actual, the big yeah. dance, uh, then you're going to have to go against the Republican who wouldn't win anyway. Well, no, it, 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 it'll be a runoff. It's just the top two. Top two. Yeah. So it, it, they could both be Democrats. <sighs> and California, it's obviously a Democrat's going to win. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, here he is. Here's doesn't my matter. buddy. So anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that, <laughs> but I'm trying to say, wouldn't you, come on, how great would it be for your show if you- I, I said, as a, as a senator- Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. John's trying to work every angle here. How great would it be for your show? I thought we were friends. Don't you want to support me? Don't you don't, you just like can Einstein? I, can I He's predict- trying to give every reason for him to give him money. Can I predict right now that Artie's going to come in and just be- a big refreshing glass of water to this whole conversation. Yeah. Like he's going to walk in and say something really funny and John is going to get mad. All right. Artie's here, everybody. This is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what? As a senator, I will support you as a friend. <laughs> Ew, he's touching him. <laughs> oh, look at this. What are you paying for? Thanks. Is he tipping for beers too? I, 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 Dude, nothing changed. I'm late. I already bought a hundred bucks from him. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was on your hand, by the way? It was a little slippery. I visited uh, Harvey Weinstein. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love, look at it. It. I love oh. you too. I love it's, what are you doing? I wanna John starts hugging Artie and couple Artie's jokes out of the way at no one's expense at his own expense he's just like I'm yeah. glad to be here he makes it all fun I'm Correct. here yeah 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 Artie's ready to do a show so John just tried to embrace Artie Artie's body language was get the fuck off me he turned his back to him so that John was hugging him from behind which is very awkward to look at on here just as an, I don't know he's he looks very shit faced I don't know if that's true or not but he seems like he's a little wasted well his reaction to his own jokes yeah. are not the reactions of a sober man Correct. Now, remember, this show tapes at 4 p.m., all right? Now, we know that John is drinking as the show begins. We don't know what he was drinking before the show began. But 4 p.m., still pretty early in the day, especially on the East Coast. Come by the gig. When are you, when are you doing the gig? Uh, it's tomorrow night and two shows on Saturday at Governor's Brokerage. All right, I'd love oh, for you to come. I, I'm doing Madison Square Garden. Brokerage <laughs> <laughs> Comedy oh, I Club. Go. Yeah, 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 I go. Punch I it down again. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Too cold. I need a mortgage car. <laughs> My buddy Vinny's hosting the show that night. It's the college fun tour. Are you going to come? Yeah, I'm definitely going. My buddy Vinny's hosting that night. So look at what how everything that's just changed just now, Vinny. Hey, I'm it's doing amazing. a show. We're going to go. Great. Yeah, it's awesome. I can't wait. We're all going to go to the to You your mean show. they're supporting him? They're supporting him. He's a guest on the show. They're trying to treat him as an equal, as a guy who's a guest on the show. Let's see if John can screw it up. Which show? Um, show. I'm, I'm, I might go tomorrow. All right, well, just let <laughs> me know. Because, you know. Sold out show. There's a <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. Oh, I'm busting <laughs> Dude, when I when I I can't. Does Anthony know the story about about uh, Scott the engineer with the, what he agreed to do? What mean you? Okay, so oh, I'm gonna fast forward. I'm gonna scrub through this. What happens now is John explains what good buddies they were at the Howard Stern show, and they're talking about the time. You might remember this. Scott the engineer agreed to get fucked in the ass by a porn star. At Giant Stadium, <laughs> in front of whatever that holds, seventy thousand people, they were gonna put like a, a you know a, a box around it so you couldn't actually see it, but he'd be poking out his face out of the box, and you know the porn star would go in there. At and Giant would, Stadium. Yeah, this this is this is what they were proposing. So now already telling the story. I remember we used to goof on him by just doing like this, like acting like that's what he'd be doing as he's getting fucked in the ass. So he's trying to like. Hey, remember we're buddies? We had some good jokes. Let's tell Anthony about it. So it starts off with that conversation. They're all buddies and chum chum. That turns into a conversation about the time that Artie put up a bet that he could hit off of the best female pitcher that the show could find. And then they show this video. This goes on for a while. 
and uh, Artie's a good athlete, so he did the first time she threw a ball over the plate. He made good contact with it. So that was, you know, they're going back to old Howard Stern days and things they remember with each other, and now mm-hmm. they come back and John has to sabotage the appearance that could be going well. Things might have turned around at this point. Place was oh it wasn't my. a nook and cranny on the fucking carpet. So he says, what are you going to do? I said, my favorite person of all time is Mickey Rivers, and he's black. <laughs> yeah. Put, on, Mickey Rivers. put it on black. Make the quick. Okay, let's see uh, what happened. I put uh, it on little, black. A little Gre- further here, he's talking about he got $10,000 from Snapple that he had to put on roulette. That was their deal with him. Okay. You know, just to drag it out even further. So he, he hits the ball, gets the $10,000. Puts it on roulette, puts it on black, and green comes up, which is very rare. There's only one or two spaces on a roulette wheel that are green. So that's just like Artie's fucking luck. That's right. just how, how things go. In basketball, it was up to 15, right? I had her 12, John in this fast forwarding looks. And then the shot. We've added a couple beers to the counter there, haven't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You notice that? Yeah, there's a couple extra empties. Yeah. The way he orders these beers, too, is very insulting. I could. The, the, I thought the ref gave me shit. Howard said you're not going to score four points. Five hundred bucks from Howard because I scored four points. John was a flat out win or lose, so I lost the game because she kept getting foul shots. Uh huh. And uh, Dicko over here won five hundred bucks. Oh my god. And I and of course I gave him the money. Take it out of the Brooklyn Diner lunch. Rip. Uh, <laughs> couscous is fucking fourteen hundred. <laughs> All right, so Artie explains he did this other challenge playing basketball, and he had to pay out John, and he did. And so now they're talking about this place they used to go to lunch back when they were on the Stern Show together and how much it cost. Colin Quinn <laughs> and fucking Jerry Seinfeld. I got the check. <laughs> oh. I got a syndication doing it in Australia, fuckface. We used to, we, our, the building for NEW was right above. You remember I had lunch with you. It was very Diner. awkward. Yes. Colin came over and yeah. said, I'm going to eat with uh, you guys. And I was with Norton. You yeah. weren't there that day. I guess someone else was buying something. And uh, I'm getting a jet ski. <laughs> Howard's buying a jet ski on 14th Street. I, got- <laughs> so, uh, I had, I, me and you didn't say a word to it. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, me and Opie made out. Uh, it was, uh, uh, it was weird, but, but that's a word to place. I think I would get like, yeah, I'll have the chicken pot Spencer. pie. And it, you get the check and it's $110. We went there every day and John doesn't know what one thing costs. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to go there. You wanted, I like the other diner where I cut my nose hair. Okay. Okay. So. Already goes, we used to eat there all the time. John doesn't know what a single thing on the menu costs, implying that John never picked up. Well, a you're you're a heroin addict. <laughs> John goes, I didn't want to go to that place. Yeah, but you can still grab the bill every now and again. You're very heavy. So he just brought up the nose hair story. Listen to this doozy. Okay, okay. Okay. Is that a code for something? Say, what I'm about yeah, to let's say, go cut some nose hair. What I'm about to say actually happened. <laughs> Okay, it's almost like Bill Curtis. What I'm about to say, actually. <laughs> what is that face John is making right there? I think that's called his face. You know what? It's funny, though. This was four years ago. He's aged horribly over those four years. But he yeah. looks closer to Doc Brown than that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So John's already cracked up in anticipation of this story. You would think that this would be something that he's proud of, but I don't know why he would be. <laughs> I thought the most disgusting thing was someone shitting on a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the engineer getting the HIV virus from the black porn star. What I'm about to say really happened. It really did happen, Anthony. At 11.30, they went to the Astro Diner on 6th Avenue and 56th. That's where I liked it. It was cheap there. Okay, with the bubble thing coming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's fucking... All right, long story short. I'm on the phone. We have a six-hour flight to L.A. because, you know, he booked a big gig. And uh, we, John misses planes, though. It's like watching a TV show. We might not get to LaGuardia. <laughs> so uh, I, I, t- I come back up from looking on the phone. He's this far from my face with a steak knife and a nose here that's this big, and he's trying to cut it. Oh, gross. He's not trying to be funny, either. Like he's trying to cut it. <laughs> this, is the, this is the hygiene of centering John Melendez. He's at a restaurant with his friends trying to cut a, nose, a long nose hair with a steak knife. And, and I, I, it was like when Jason came out of the fucking. <laughs> yeah. It was well, like when the, the two, when the two guys fucking broke back mountain. You're like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Anthony, Anthony, he was like this. This is Artie. He goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is John's nose hair. He's a legacy from Harrisburg. <laughs> <laughs> a legacy. <laughs> yeah. I said you try. John's wasted right now. I see him trying to high five Artie. Oh. When you're on a show busting balls, you're not high fiving people. John, you moron. Wouldn't it be funny? He's half Danish, half Puerto Rican. Did you get any of the Danish? <laughs> any of the Danish? Soy. <laughs> that's my cousin, Bastion. Oh, which one's driving you today? No, that's Bastion, my cousin. He's here, he's here from Denmark. What's his name? 
Bastion. And they're here. They're here. <laughs> I've got to drive my half Puerto Rican cousin. <laughs> he had a few more uh, Labatch. <laughs> really looks like he should be. He looks like he should be holding a Panzer Faust in April of '45, <laughs> doesn't he? He belongs in Kelly's hero. Last one. Hitler patting him <laughs> on the cheek. Almost. If I only had a thousand just like you. <laughs> oh no. How many colors does it take to roof a house? <laughs> <laughs> Seven or eight if you slice them thin. <laughs> By the way, I don't approve of this racist stuff. Of course not. You're just laughing because I love you're art. You're a, a senatorial candidate. Yeah. By the way, this show did get a little crazy from time to uh, time. I just want to point out to people who aren't used to uh, Anthony This Kubiak. show is so 2018. <laughs> me, me, me and uh, Anthony will stop the racism and get to your place in show business. <laughs> what are you going <laughs> to Oh, no. Oh, whoops. <laughs> and that's... And that picture right there should be yeah. the shot. Yeah. It's just Artie looking angry, and John was like, "What'd you say?" Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, um, donate <laughs> to my campaign. I'm just. Curious. I've done it for the last 15 fucking years. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, you still running for something? Yes, I am. You better start running for the fucking police station. <laughs> what are you gonna be, Senator Diane? Hey, I'm gonna run. Uh, let's just the... let's just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> something awkward happened on the air. Something awkward. Senator happened. Melendez. <laughs> President Melendez. I always thought you'd cut your nose hair in Washington. <laughs> Governor Melendez, <laughs> I never wanted this for you. I wanted you to have lentil soup with the nose hair in uh, uh, Beverly Hills. Uh, uh, no, I'm, we, I'm been, drinking uh, more Coors Light lately. You know, it's uh, it's good for you, Pop. Good for you. It's good for <laughs> you I gotta say, the four years that John was on the show, we we did nothing but laugh. We did nothing. I don't but doubt laugh. it. Yeah. Fucking well, what? Artie a... was my he was my partner in crime. We did this yeah. show. We well, when you realized you weren't getting the chair, you were mad at me at first. No, you keep saying that. Put up the De Niro. Uh, Oh. But the De Niro I face. Did not. Oh. 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 If I got a laugh, is that what John looked like? <laughs> I believe that. So now they're explaining that when Artie was hired to replace Jackie, what was called the Jackie chair at the time, there were a lot of people who wanted that spot. A lot of people tried out for it. Chappelle? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if Chappelle would have taken the job. I know that Adam Carolla was offered it and turned it down. But Stuttering John, I think, thought he had a legit chance. And I remember him telling the story of how Howard... After John got the job, the show was like, "I should have, I should have given you a chance to take that chair," which is that's a, a nice thing you say to a departing employee. Mm. <laughs> no one actually thinks John would have been good in that chair. I mean, well, Jackie it. was writing all of Howard's jokes for him. Yeah, and Artie didn't need to do that because Correct. Artie was a funny and entertaining person. Correct. Now John is neither a joke writer Correct. nor a funny or entertaining person, so therefore disqualified from consideration. But I just love the fact that. Artie goes, yeah, when I first got the job, anytime I said something funny, this is the look that John would give me. And it's Artie. It's uh, De Niro just looking over like, you motherfucker. Artie. Uh, Artie. I Artie. Fucking jokes, right? <laughs> Artie, I swear to God, I did not want the chair at that time. This too uh, no, I did not. But, but you were thinking that. But Gary, Gary said to me, uh, John wants the chair. No, that's, well, you, you're going to believe fucking that guy? I don't know anybody oh. yet. Gary's the biggest first bullshit all, in the world. Watch me shower. <laughs> No, they know the Milano, co the yeah. Milano cookie bit. He eats a bunch of Milano cookies and tries to. He stutters trying to tell me something about our flight. Oh I no! Had a cake of <laughs> <laughs> and Milano cookie, a fucking epoxy <laughs> to my face. I was in the bathroom longer than fucking AJ Benza. <laughs> <laughs> He's making a, an adobe wall on your cheek. <laughs> Dude, you took a shit on a JetBlue fucking air. Sorry, I had a shit. Yeah, but I don't know how you fit in the fucking bathroom. I fit, believe me. You're the one with the long hair and he falls asleep and his hairs are my food. <laughs> you notice how John wanted to push back at Artie there and had no joke? Yeah, but you took a shit on an airplane. And Artie goes, yeah, I had to take a shit. Oh, well. How'd you fit? How'd you fit in the bathroom? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, obviously I did. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from me? Like, what, what kind of joke is that? Yeah, I mean, you could have gone like your head was sticking out like Scott the Engineer's head <laughs> right! was going to. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but you could have gone a lot of ways John, there. John is not on top of his game if he even had a game at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's, he's Puerto Rican. He still ate it, though. <laughs> your hair? <laughs> Should have got the steak knife out from that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is also some of these shows are hard to watch because Artie just mumbles all sorts of things, and Anthony loses his shit over everything that he mumbles. It's a little over the top. One of the things that we did on the Stern show, Artie and I, was we always did the crowbar thing. Well, that was more when you yeah, crow it's it's, when everyone's talking and you can't crowbar in a joke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, those, I remember, like I would try and crowbar in a joke. Ow. Artie would go like this. Well, <laughs> those two funny chicks were in here. Oh shit. <laughs> 
Just go, just go to a gift shop in Rhode Island, you cunt. <laughs> Who's he talking about? No, a couple of chicks. Not about you. A couple of know, chicks. Chick they had a Denmark cousin too. <laughs> Danish? You mean? No, no, no. Uh, I thought you were gonna go to Dana. <laughs> Uh, no, female they, were, they were crowbarring him, but Not anyway, funny. me and John, if he tried to say a joke that bombed, then he cra I would go like this. <laughs> By the way, you had the same, you fell victim to that, too. I did. David Spade did the funniest fucking thing. Well, but your, what was the fucking Cincinnati Red player that you did it to, that uh, Howard had no idea? I'll get to that. All right. no, that is funny. Oh, I'll, close, I'll close with that. All right. uh, Artie's trying. <laughs> so, uh, John's trying to explain to Artie how to be entertaining. No, no, tell this story. I was like, no, I got this. I've been doing this a lot longer than you. I just made notice that when I was real nervous around like guys like Sandler and him, I went to Sandler's badger party and it was just people. Around. So I had a nervous thing when I told the joke and it kind of bombed. I would, I would take a sip from a straw like this. <laughs> he noticed that. He goes, you got to stop doing that. It's weird. So cut to the Stern Show, a packed hard rock in Vegas. I tell a joke to bombs. Space, I look at Spades like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just brutal. Just oh, brutal. wow. <laughs> so Howard knew nothing about sports. That's fucking Every once funny. Once I made a sports reference that a truck driver might get, you know. <laughs> and he actually told me to do it because he didn't know anything about sports. We had a chick who used to date Fred Durst. He, remember he had the red hat all the time? Yeah, yeah. The baseball yep. So Howard says, have you seen him lately? She goes, a month ago, I'm in a club, and I see that red hat come out. I go, you, Barry Larkin <laughs> from the Reds. Good and uh, uh, so nobody, it, it sounded like this. And the, <laughs> I said Barry Larkin, it goes, but, and, and John's the only one laughing. And afterwards we said, I said, you get that? He goes, yeah, I got it. I said, Johnny Bench wouldn't have worked. It might be too hacky. Yeah, yeah. Barry Larkin was the fucking leading hitter in the league. Uh, didn't I give you one of these? <laughs> get it. You were very funny. <laughs> All right, oh, okay. we get it. You solidified the Tonight Show. <laughs> <laughs> I love John. I, I have to say stuff too, like that Arnie. to Carl sometimes. Yeah. Like, good job, Carl. You were very edgy today. <laughs> good job. Way to go, Edge Lord Carl. Oh, yeah, no, lots of people were very offended by the show today in the, in the chat. Great job. Yeah, good job. And we made good it up, up man. I, this Did we? Was... No, you were talking to my assistant that entire time <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, yeah. Is, is Dan the one tweeting for you? He's my life partner. <laughs> uh, no, I tweet with you. I tweet, of course. With but you the, change your number again. At Artie's Black Liver, I don't tweet with him. <laughs> um, There's a guy who has a handle, Artie's Dead Baby Son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got, I chick got an abortion when I was, you know. Oh, I, I didn't even know what the fuck that meant. Are yeah. you kidding me? They just will fuck. Well, a chick got an abortion Everything. without telling me in, in 1995. She wanted, to, she met me at Zuma Beach, and I said, hmm. I got what part of a fucking empty beer do you not get? Oh, whoa. <laughs> I Whoa! mean, that's insane right there. These are guys who are running the show. They're not in charge of getting dr drinks for drunken guests. Can we back that up? That's an amazing part right there. Oh, my God. Th this will get back where it needs to be, but this is a highlight right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got, I chick got an abortion when I was there, you know. Oh, I, I didn't even know what the fuck that meant. Are yeah. you kidding me? They just will fuck. Well, a chick got an abortion everything. without telling me in, in 1995. She wanted to, she met me at Zuma Beach, and I said, I got yeah, what part of a fucking empty beer do you not get? Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll start again. <laughs> Jeez, he interrupted the story. And then he goes to, like, I don't know. What he do you call that laugh? Up. He, what he, is that laugh? A, a drunken mess. I don't know. Could you imagine being the bartender at the Pickwick Pub oh, if that's God. why he orders a fucking beer? Hey, didn't you notice I only have three sips left of my point? Didn't you notice the line of guys here want to beat the shit out of you? <laughs> <laughs> you keep challenging. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He said that to Garrett. Garrett is the engineer running the show. I mean, the, he literally just destroyed all of the energy in that room. Mm -hmm. What an alcoholic. What a desperate, like the <laughs> DT's <are> <laughs> 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 Here's a statue to John in front of the comic center. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other movie. He sits at the comic stand. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Here we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> See, John set himself up for all of this. Now the tide is turning on John. They're all having fun. They're all being friends. I John right interrupts now. Like, the story. I belong at the comic stable. Yep. And now oh, no. it's all turning. Fuck you should be setting it. No. Uh, I'm go. kidding. I'm kidding. There we go. And he doesn't pay the bill. He doesn't need. pay the bill. Oh, shit. Oh, that's bullshit. Well, I don't pay there. They're no, nice. my friend pays it. What friend? Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so he's been served. They brought him a beer. They brought him another beer. Now, I swear to God, Artie I already just said when he sits at the comics table, 
that he never pays the bill. And Jack goes, that's bullshit. My friend pays it. That's what he just said. Um, well, that's kind of what Artie was implying. Yeah. <laughs> that your friend pays it. Why, why, why pays did it? I come in late today? <laughs> why did you come in Where's late? Where's Brian today? Count? Oh, they're you, all here. Because you were here. I just wanted to give you a shot. Now, now Artie, what, what was happening? <laughs> you just... <laughs> Yeah, coming up later in the show is Brian Callen, and Brian Callen and Artie oh. were on Mad TV together. So they have oh. a history. They have shit to talk about. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought I'd give on, you a shot. Look at that face on Artie right there. He knows he just crushed you. I thought I'd give you a shot. He was to, you know, some story. Votes. I don't know. I don't know which one it was. I think well, John, I, I, here's I me thought I'd get a fucking a word in. Yeah, start a story, right? I'll do John. I was trying uh, to get a word in. For a second. Go ahead. No, no, no. You, like you haven't? Start a story. Oh, my God. It's my God. I thought it was Anthony's show. This is exactly what it's like. We were doing the uh, the O and A uh, comedy uh, festival. Where the fuck's my beer? What part of a beer I know? <laughs> First of all, throw this mic out. Combination <laughs> <laughs> of Puerto Rican tuberculosis and the flu. <laughs> you're talking Vaseline hands. You're just trying to fucking do it on your. Uh, you make you goes to a man's afflictions right away. Of co- uh, instantly. You haven't called me an alcoholic. I said you shouldn't be at the comic table. You're gonna die of diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like BB King. It's fucking. John goes right for the fucking jugular. Be the BB King of comedy. <laughs> I apologize. This is the thing that I. Uh, there are two things I ask. So Save this for me. off air. No, I'm not going. <laughs> you call me and apologize because you know you were a little over the fucking top. I, but you shit. were. Too- uh, see, Artie even knows wherever you're going right now, John. Don't. He just tried to you. save him. Yep. That was the best advice anybody gave John save all day. It for after the show. Oh, boy. Wait, no, no, wait. No, 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 oh, no. boy. Wait a second, Mr. Artie Ass Kiss. I wish I had your soundboard over here. I don't. Oh, boy. <laughs> here we go. Sir. This fucking oh, guy. get from kissing my ass? <laughs> I fucking... He's got a mansion in Long Island. <laughs> you probably get high. I live in a hovel. I'm going to be cleaning my bathroom with a Denmark kid later. Live in a, you live in a townhouse. I live in a hovel. John, uh, John as he pukes a lot. It's chunky. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Artie, you... John apologize. cleared out a party when he shit in my place. <laughs> Clear, you've been in my place, right? Clear, we were playing Clear poker. Out. We were playing poker. He leaves. I'm like, where the fuck is he going? Like, oh, and no. literally, we had broads over there. This is called pivoting. He doesn't want me to fucking... Yeah, we'll, we'll get back yeah. to you, Albert Brooks. Calm down. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> he, uh, uh this is called pivoting. This is called the same thing you tried to do to him, talking about shitting on an airplane, when you shat so bad in his house and everybody left. I don't know that I would bring up that story, John. Brooks. <laughs> Foster. Love Foster. You be Brooks. <laughs> Another sports reference. All right. He's in there for 20 minutes. Something happens to the like Chernobyl. And literally, we had to leave the apartment. We all had to, we had to leave the apartment. He's like, you like, okay, uh, that's a great uh, bathroom. <laughs> the shit was like, it smelled. All right, John doesn't remember this happening at all. You can tell. He's got no defense. He can't even remember when this happened. He's just pretending to laugh along. It's like a combination of John and John. <laughs> John's John has an affinity for a bathrooms. You 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 put it in your movie. All right, like, all right, Hemingway. Let's get to one, one too many. There was a, a scene where John is on the toilet in a, a public toilet, camera up from the bottom, and just the sounds of uh, grotesque shitting. You know when they um those were all my farts, by the way. Were they wow. real? Mm. Wow, they're authentic. Yes, they're authentic. Meryl, Sh- I knew that. I've watched the director's cut. Come Meryl Streep, <laughs> fuck it. Meryl Creep. Oh, <laughs> I love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, wait, 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 wait. Well, oh, I'm just saying. Please, please right. don't follow me. Hey, I'm sorry, John. You know I love you. You could hear people canceling the subscription. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Well, we've already heard that before. Anyway, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. And everything. I do. I do. You know, and I, you know, I shouldn't do that. I thought I was talking to Adrian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, fucking next day. Hey, fuck you, you fucking douchebag. You know, it's not I fuck not. you, fuck you, douchebag. It's, it's you started too, dude. You go at it, man. Stuttering Juan. Jokes like that that no, are funny. Do you not like stuttering Juan? I a fucking year and a half ago. Well, you're I a pioneer. Get the newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> what you do on your show? No one... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> dude, let me tell you something. My, was, let me tell you, my pop- was watching this shit. <laughs> Where am I getting 800 grand a year from? What? Holy shit. Calm down. So, uh... <laughs> oh, no. All right, so... Artie was making close to a million dollars a year on Compound Media. 
and decides to kind of throw that in John's face a little bit. And then John responds with another big bear hug of Arnie because we're yeah. boys, we're buddies, we're on the same plane. Did you know I'm running for the Senate? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Artie's like, by the way, I have a ton of money. Hey, we're buddies. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. All right. Hey, I'm a drunk uncle who's younger than you. <laughs> like when fucking. No, Artie, listen, like when Frank Vincent was hugging Pesci in the bar. Get over here, Get you over fuck. Here, all right. I know right. your whole right. life. No, no, Anthony, Let me yeah, you prick. Anthony, here's the problem. You know, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, you no. know, here's the problem. <laughs> here's oh, the I'm problem. not crowbarring a joke, you, you fat fuck. Here's the oh, problem. You fat here is the problem. Here's the problem. And this is this is this is the problem. <laughs> Artie will go from loving me, and then he'll tweet me and. Te- <laughs> oh, hey, douchebag! You want me to fucking show the text that you would send me? Go ahead. I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> I don't give a shit. He would, text my mother he would text me. He would text me. I love you. You're my one of my best friends. And, and then the next text is I. Uh, I'm one of the best comic in the world. Oh God, John! You can't think that that's a real text, right? You're one of the best comics in the world. How is Artie gonna handle? refuting this one do you think holy shit principled uncertainty Artie is moments from death and he's still quicker than john yes yes exact that's that's what we're showing here bravo oh come on now do you the want first show, one's more believable. Do you want me to show the fucking... <laughs> yeah, neither, I, t- t- what's your name john neither one of us <laughs> is the best comic who would say that to either one of us yes precisely right N- neither one of them would say that to each other or mean it and no one would say that to that. Like, that's, that's the whole point of something like that. Like, you said I was the best comic ever. Like, John, I mean, obviously I wouldn't think that. Nobody would think that, you moron. Do you want me to fucking read yeah, it? I was bullshit. I took the liberty of bullshitting. No, you were saying I'm the better actor than you. I'm what better comedian. That? You! Jesus. John. See, John's getting himself into something now. Did you just see his face start to turn? Oh, yeah. He's angry now because he's like, no, you complimented me. Tell all the people who are watching that you said I'm great. And this is so awkward. John makes every everything so awkward, doesn't he? He's I, I really have enjoyed Artie's like third grade response. He's just spinning in his chair, <laughs> going, "Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking fantastic." He's like, he's like, "I'm going to show you the tax. Go for it. Yeah, Whatever. Show him the tax. I don't <laughs> yeah. give a shit." Oh, no, no. That was you on text. My sister's a very good actor. You told me to call you. You told me. I show you these texts. All right, I don't care. What are you, just like, I told you that so you'd leave, or we'd still be in the car. (laughs) (laughs) My pride and joy. I never would have found those texts. Anthony, what I'm trying (laughs) to say. First of all, creepo keeping texts. Oh, shit. (laughs) I don't delete anything. Why? Why not? Don't delete your, you deleted your career about that. <laughs> let's go to, let's go to that picture, Holy by the way. Let's no go to that picture. No one's going to freeze frame that in Photoshop. Picture, by the way. You got a lawsuit. Look at that picture. You look retarded. <laughs> no, that's not, uh, look at that. You don't that's like not that. a politically correct term Are anymore, okay? what, what is- Oh, God. So now John's going to lecture Artie. Mm. So if, if you're not watching the video. Boy, he's really going to win over this audience, isn't he? <laughs> I know. If you're not, I know. At Compound Media? Yeah, let's let's tell Artie that you can't use the word retarded in 2017. That's a good idea. If you can't wow. see the video, there's a headshot. And it's, it's John's professional headshot up on the screen behind everybody. And so Artie points out that he looks retarded, <laughs> which is accurate. John Melinda? <laughs> it's mentally challenged. Anyway... <laughs> Anthony. Yeah. He was totally serious about that. You're supposed yeah. to say mentally challenged. All right, John, you look mentally challenged. What Fine, John. Fine, John. <laughs> Fine. Yes, sir. So then he goes back and forth, and then what does he do? Oh, yeah, good. Good. Fall asleep because I'm sick First of hearing all, your are voice. Are you okay? Honestly, you got no, no. a swollen cheek. You all right? Swollen cheek. You got a swollen body. Oh, come on. But then, anyway, so then. Up six, seven, okay. So, anyway, yeah, yeah, here he comes. Mr. Hey, fucking tell the comedy story. genius. Tell the story. Fucking heroin induced Seinfeld over here. Uh, right the heroin. Right? Yeah. yeah. Seinfeld, that's not what I do. That's what you do. <laughs> Andrew, he just did it. He goes, yeah, but that's what you do. This <laughs> is fucking something else. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah, I know. You're not. Oh. I have a punchline. That's why you have, dude. You don't think I, I said know? you look fat? Heroin. You don't think that's why you have Vaseline? Because you probably just snorted and fucking put Vaseline all over your mouth. That's why I have I, a car the same. I know why he did it. Anyway. Diabetes makes your hands dry. His wife has diabetes. <laughs> I've got to. I've got to go to you. <laughs> anyway, Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is my job. <laughs> I love this. I, Anthony, you're my hero. It's fucking awesome. Here he goes. Amazing. I love it. I'm, I'm complimenting Anthony. 
Artie is very uncomfortable at this point. Yeah, he doesn't I, know I honestly going. think he was just going to walk out for a minute. Just He's like, I need a fucking break. thinking about it because John is in a weird drunk haze. And he's touching him. Yeah. He's constantly touching, touching him. Artie's that would freak me out. Yeah. I don't like that shit. <laughs> you do not like being touched. This I know. It's nice. Huh. You, could, you could compliment me every once in a while. I do a lot of fucking favors for you, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be at the brokerage tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. And anyway, I'll do yeah. an hour. And... Oh yeah, go fuck yourself. I do an hour. And you know what? Fucking, there's a reason why I get booked back all over the fucking country, you asshole. Because of you? Yeah. Because of me. What about the hour I took a time right in 1978? <laughs> because of me. <laughs> it's the only reason you're in this town because of me. Anthony, this is the problem I have, guys. Guys, I started. The problem you have is piling up in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> This is the problem I have, and Anthony points to the beers <laughs> as they continue to multiply in front of him. The problem you have is piling up in front of you. <laughs> fucking lie to the day. Oh, Anthony Kubi. Look who's fucking talking. Look who's talking. Look who's talking. I could, what are you doing? His he house. can bury you in oh, two seconds. Me. I could do polite. two hours without drinking. He's being polite. <laughs> yeah, but you're the host. I'm the guest. You know what? Barely. <laughs> barely. Yeah, I don't want a drunk guest. Who the fuck wants a completely hammered guest? Anthony is drinking a Coca-Cola. And John goes, look who's talking. And I love that. Anthony's like, yeah, I'm an alcoholic, but I go two hours during the fucking show and maintain. Like, what I find interesting about that is you've been around a show that had guests every night. Correct. How many of them sat there and got fucking hammered on beers? Good point. Especially when he says, well, this place isn't as professional as The Tonight Show. Because The Tonight Show, they wouldn't have you tip the engineer. It's like... Yeah, but you're not treating it like it's professional either. So I don't know that you could use that argument. Ugh. The 22 hours of the day. He's still touching. It's questionable. Him. Yeah, it's a lot of touching. <laughs> <laughs> what a great job. That's it. That's it. Go no, do it. Oh, yeah. Now he's flicking bottle caps at Anthony. The next one will be on. Keep oh my God! Now it's a the only thing. The only thing that fucked me up was Artie's Vaseline. Yeah, we get in here. Artie's Vaseline. We are. What is Sometimes that? I blow my mind. I got diabetes. Oh, bullshit. Your knuckles have slits all diabetes. over. Diabetes. Punch today. Uh, the fucking wall? Shut up. My, you know what? A time clock. You don't have that. <laughs> 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 what did you punch? A time clock. You wouldn't know about it. Wow. Because <laughs> oh, John doesn't have a career. That is the great, saddest look at Artie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, look at John right there. He got me again. Damn it. Got me again. This guy's the Zing King over here. The Zing King. <laughs> that, that's from uh, my buddy Dick Masterson, who called Sean the audio engineer a Zing King when Sean said he had jokes. Waka, waka, waka. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. That's a good one. It's a beach ball coming yeah, in. Hand me that yeah. tissue box. What? Why? What do you think? You better get an issue box. What are you running for? <laughs> Why are you really going to run for senator? Yeah. Hey, you Everybody needed. knows I'm bleeding. Senator Blutarski. Just telling you, you fucking idiot. And you I'm know what? I'm not bleeding. Yes, you are. Right on the I left. I went to the optometrist. Right and by the way, douchebag, I love you. Stop that shit. I love you too. Stop it already. Just stop it. You want me to have to? Oh, God. John giving some hard love there. You got to stop doing the heroin. I said stop it. And then he's going to take credit. You know, I, I think what he already said... stopped doing heroin because I told him to stop it. Is he insinuating that he was doing coke? No, I think because he because Artie always snorted heroin. Yeah, gotcha, he, gotcha, gotcha. He, I remember there was an episode with him and Rich Voss on this show where Artie's nose just started bleeding, and Rich is like, "Dude, oh no." <laughs> yeah, so so John's trying to recreate that magic, even though Artie's not even bleeding right now, and handing him a tissue and trying to make it about his. See, this is John in the corner. He's lashing out. Oh yeah, well you're a heroin addict, and your face is, looks bad, and he's like, "Okay, John." In my pockets. Yes. I ain't got nothing on me. Yeah, of course. You probably hit it somewhere by the bathroom. I got a bunch of Puerto Rican insults. It's like in the fucking Godfather. It's the fucking behind the thing in the bathroom. I could put the gun behind the toilet. <laughs> you just ruined my fucking shot at the Noah Wiley pilot. <laughs> <laughs> me and him are going to play best friends in the second grade. Artie. It has the old-fashioned pull You notice when he's doing the passive-aggressive thing, all the, all the helpful things bring up shit that'll never get me work again. And now. it's help, right. Oh, oh yeah, that's what He's helping. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, like him trashing my comedy, that's gonna get me work. Anyway, getting back... I think it actually <laughs> did. Didn't it finally get <laughs> yeah. you the governor's gig? No shit. Oh. By trashing you and kind of having fun with it? No, exactly. No. He didn't get shit, he was fucking... And then James from the... was like, hey, how's uh, John? Is that... He's like, yeah, sure, fucking John's great. Anthony, let's... <laughs> That's fucking funny. He did not like 
the reality of that coming at him. Yeah. Anthony, do we really need to bring that up here? Is this the place for it? After all, Artie's doing heroin again. And keep in mind, at this time, Artie is a star on the show crashing on HBO. He has a job, a Judd Apatow production. He doesn't need stuttering John exclaiming that he's on heroin every freaking three seconds on the show. So he points that out, like, John, maybe cool it on that, if you don't mind. And John's like, oh, yeah, but you you tried to ruin my career. Like, what are you talking about? It's are very different things. <laughs> As John would say, oranges and apples. If he's been to, if he's sat at a comics table, yeah. how is he not used to this? Oh, I know. That's the thing. He's never picked up on it. He's never understood what ball busting is. He turns it into immediately, if, if he gets goofed on, he has to be like, yeah, but you have a serious problem and, I, and you should really get help. Like, wait, what? We're comedians. We all have serious problems. <laughs> I'm goofing on everybody, and I'm drinking Miller Lights right now. What are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, it's not even 4 o'clock yet. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it is somewhere. I'm so puckering too much from kissing oh, ass. Oh, please. The, the brokerage. That's a be- Look what There's a doing. difference between kissing ass and appreciating how you somebody is on, on the amazing. program. He didn't help me get that Oh, oh the other guy. It was, was my badgering that got me that I think this whole thing, I think the whole thing got you uh, the gig. Did what you? They, what, are they moving everybody out? No, they heard you were doing comedy. Oh, okay. Because we brought up the <laughs> fact that oh, that's there vicious. We go. Like, that's vicious compared to. Oh, God, John did not take that. Look at that fucking armpit. Oh, okay. oh, oh I know. He's so gross. Let me back this up. Let's watch John respond to a pretty good zigger from Artie. Just he could not fucking take a joke, this not guy. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Me and him are going to play best friends in the second grade. Artie. It has the old-fashioned pull. You notice what he's doing, the passive-aggressive thing, all the, all the helpful things bring up shit that'll never get me work again. And now. it's help, right. Oh, oh yeah, that's he's the one. He's helping. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, like him trashing my comedy, that's going to get me work. Anyway, getting back. I think it actually did. Didn't it finally Sorry, get you the governor's gig? Yeah, no shit. Oh. By trashing you and kind of having fun with it? No. Exactly. No, he didn't get shit. He was funny. And then James from the was like, hey, how's uh, John? Is that? He's like, yeah, sure. Fucking John's great. Anthony, listen, <laughs> okay? Your fucking lips are puckering too much from kissing oh, ass. Oh, please. The, the brokerage. That's a be- look what you There's doing. a difference between kissing ass and appreciating how you somebody is on, on the program. He didn't help me get that oh, gig. Oh, the other guy. It was my badgering that got me that I gig. think this whole thing, I think the whole thing got you uh, the gig. Did what, are you- they, what, are they moving everybody out? No, they heard you were doing comedy. Oh, okay, Because we, we brought up the there fact. Go. go. Like, there that's vicious. We go. Like, that's vicious compared to Oh, hell yeah, Alice. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, if I want to get fucked in the ass. Is that fucking Bisconti? It's Gino. Oh, Gino. fucking Jesus Christ. Bisconti's going to start a robosizing in front of the window to get our attention. I can't believe I could even call him a comic. Gino's like you with the jokes. Just look at this fucking guy. Gino Biscotti. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Artie's got to go. Artie will take a uh, All right. anyway. piss break. I, gotta, I love you. I got to talk. Uh, as, as we move people around, I will talk to you about NFL football season. All right. This is great. I remember this when I watched this yesterday. So Anthony's trying to go into a live read. I just want to say that my comedy is not as bad. <laughs> yep. So, Vinny, you've been a guest on people's shows. You've run your own show. This is where you shut the fuck up. This is, everyone understands how this works. I believe I do that on every show but yours. True. I've had to talk to you about it. But, but I do it to fuck with you because it's great. <laughs> I know. So all you have to do as a guest is shut the fuck up. Anthony just did a very nice job transitioning into the live read segment. All right, we're move some people around. Artie's going to the bathroom. We'll do this live read. And John will not let it happen. And the uh, amazing folks at BetDSI.com. Can I do that? While John uh, uh, finishes another Coors Light. Coors Light is the right beer now. Anthony, I don't recall finishing my story. Uh, because all I'm I don't recall to... you starting it. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> uh, what what, what was go ahead. Say, go ahead. All, all I'm trying to say is so Artie fluctuates back and forth. So people on Twitter <sighs> go, I'm bipolar for attacking him and not attacking him. No, it's not me. It's Artie who decides to trash me and then not trash me. When did this conversation start? Is this 10 minutes ago he's rehashing now? Yeah, it's it's always good to get back to it. Look at how many beers are in front of him now. Is Every time four? it cuts over, there's a new one. Trash me, so then I have to respond you? accordingly. That's all. But you are putting the word trashing Can we on something that isn't... Can we point tra- something out? That is uh, exactly what Donald Trump said about 
people. If you trash me, I trash you back. Yeah. And he just stands there screaming about Donald Trump doing it. But oh, it's yeah. the exact same logic that oh, yeah. he subscribes to. Oh, John's a hypocrite in every single way. Yeah. yeah. Just just felt like pointing that out. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good observation. Continue. Trashy, I want to go to wrestling busting tonight. balls as, as really? fellow so making comics. fun of my child is, is, is not. No, that was, not, oh. that was great. So again, making fun of my, he has to go, yeah, but this wasn't busting balls, making fun of my child. You're talking about Steve Grillo. Grillo. He's not there right now. Grillo, right? Yeah, but it was Artie had the chance to edit that out. Do you think Artie records a show and then thinks what's got to be no, edited out? No, but then. He does a show. Look at the guy. Get the he just does up a up show and goes, all right, I'm out of here. The guy who just ran out here with his um, nose bleeding. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe he's not responsible enough to edit out that part of the show. I'm supposed to go get some cocktail. Cool. Uh, my mother's gonna make some sausage. Garrett's oh, I gotta leave. Oh, but edit out, edit out the part where. Could you actually picture Artie saying? All right, all right. Edit out that part. It might be offensive to somebody. Oh, okay. Uh, get close up. Dan, the enabler. Of <laughs> oh boy. Could have easily edited it out because he knew it was very sensitive. Dan works for Artie, which means it's Artie's. <laughs> Respond. I don't think. I love that Garrett's taking the chance to goof on John right now with this extreme close up that he's doing. And John is, by the way, 100% just pissed now. He's not having any fun anymore. He's just pissed off. He thinks that he's been wronged. And for some reason, he's bringing up while Artie's not there, I, which I don't understand. He's pissed off at Artie. And he's, he waited for Artie to leave to, to start this story, but. Which is what an alcoholic does. And an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you put a little too much onus okay. on okay, Andy, Artie in that situation. Andy, let me give you an analogy. All right. Let me give you a real story. I asked Jay Leno, was it true that how he was portrayed? You knew Jay Leno? Oh, here we go. Was that Gino's line? You're stealing from fucking the, the, the biggest hack in the world? Biscotti. Oh, shit. Now he's calling out Gino. Gino shows up there, and John's guns are blazing again. He's fighting every single person on this show. I mean... The host, the producer, the engineer, the co-host. He's just going after everyone. Can we all agree that if this studio was a bar, he would have been asked to leave? <laughs> <laughs> can we all agree on that? Sir, you've been overserved. Yeah, could you just go out in public? We'll call a cab for you, sir. Now, listen... Here's the problem. You realize he Come hasn't on. stuttered yet. Come on. Oh, am I uh, uh, yeah, here he goes. Gino Biscotti uh, with no Gino. career and no money. So, so oh. here's the problem. He's going to call us over for having no money and no career? John. <laughs> Come on. But what year is his Mercedes? Have you heard of the 1980 Billy Joel album, Glass Houses? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anthony. Yes, sir. Anthony. So Jay Leno had hired, I mean, his fucking uh, person, you know, Helen Kushnick. Yeah. You know, she put out this fake story, you know, about how Johnny Carson was going to retire. Of course. And, and you know, Jay didn't know about it. I remember that. And I said to Jay, well, you know, well, you didn't do it. It was your manager. You know what Jay said? No. She was employed by me. I am responsible. That's Jay. He would always say, I'm responsible. Yeah, they, you know what? Uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima was my responsibility. I, I understand. It, it was always, he was, he's a nice guy. Why are you trying to equate? to say Artie's not a nice guy? Well, you know, I'm not saying Artie's not a nice guy, but don't try to equate Jay Leno with Artie Lang. Why not? And, and, and how they think as far as a show <laughs> and taking responsibility for shit. Right. Are you out of your fuck mind? Are you following this, Vinny? I am following it 100%. Yeah. The problem is John isn't. Yeah, no shit. John's going, look, at it. it's Artie's fault that Grillo talked about my kids, is what he's saying. According to Artie, he's just, he's just as funny as Jay Leno. <laughs> I, I think Artie is... Artie's... Okay. <laughs> I don't have to explain that one. First of all, you, it has nothing to do with but, the But comedy. honestly, hold on. Let's be fair to Jay. We've never seen him on heroin. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. Just saying. To do with him taking responsibility. You, you want to even have the idea of Artie with a bunch of cars he can drive around in? Yeah, right? A collector's car? Yeah. He would collect wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> like, wrecks. like Jay collects fucking classic cars. Yeah. They'd just be wrecked cars. <laughs> Who's that Joe DeVito who just joined? He looks exactly like Joe DeVito. This is is that Joe DeVito? It is, yeah. So this is a tough spot for him to get into. I know, Joe. So could you imagine if you were booked to be a guest on this show... And he goes into the bet DSI read, and so Keith is going, yeah, get on up there. You're on. You're on. And now John has turned this back into, I'm at war with Artie. And this poor guy has to figure out how to navigate this. I, I love imagine. how that picture of John has not left the screen the whole oh, time. I know. It really is. You know, this is good producing, though. You realize this, right? Like, 
a lot of people would think, oh, this is a train wreck. We got to get him out of here. Oh, no. no. Oh, in fact, we're, we only have uh, 17 or so minutes left of this. Jesus. I know. It's a lot. But it's great because they want him to stay and he leaves. It's so funny. Brian, nice to meet you, man. Well, I'm Joe, but it's nice to meet nice you. It's Joe. <laughs> he just called him. What did he call him, John? Hold on a sec. I got to back that up a little bit. Perfect. Wrecked cars. <laughs> Un hey, Brian, nice to meet you, man. Brian, well, nice Joe, to meet you. He thought it was nice Brian Callen because they mentioned that Brian Callen was going to be on. So he goes, Brian, nice to meet you. Well, I'm Joe, but okay. <laughs> you <laughs> moron. Oh, yeah, right, you're going gonna, gonna to cry laughing. Is that what these <laughs> are? <laughs> 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 he ch chucks the Kleenex box at Joe. <laughs> Get ready for the onslaught that is stuttering John comedy. <laughs> What? <laughs> here, he here he comes, Mr. Fucking. Uh, talking about anybody. What, what is zingers or zagnuts? What do you got today? Right. He's got to get his sugar up. My low blood sugar. Well, at least I have a few. Blood sugar. At least I have, I have a few zingers. Hey, pause, pause for John. Oh, no. Pause for John Zinger reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pause for Artie's fucking heroin fucking break. Oh. Here we go, right back. Jesus, John. Captain can't take a fucking it, hint. It hasn't worked once. Every time you brought this up, they've all been like, John, what are, you, what are you doing? And he keeps going back to it. He's not learning. God, he jumped he, about 50 yeah. levels there. Yeah, he right? Was, at, least oh, I can, at least I can afford him. I don't come. <laughs> you want me to say the joke? I'll say the joke again. I come to a knife fight with a gun. Do you want to fucking fight? Then we'll go. <laughs> what are you doing? I, did you know yeah, what was he doing right there? He just started chugging his beer and making faces afterwards. I think he, in his brain... He's killing. Well, so he, what he just I done? think that he thinks everybody is on his side. That's why he's playing it so big. Like, I legitimately think when he does it, he thinks everybody's like, yeah, he's right. Well, what's funny is that he goes, I bring a gun to a knife fight. But meanwhile, his only gripe is not that they're busting his balls, but that they're making it personal. Remember? That was the thing. Right. That when, when Anthony was just like, yeah, I watched your movie. I mean, I got a goof on it. That's what I do. And with, what finally came down to, John, what are you so pissed about? He goes, well, you talked about, uh, Grillo talked about my kid. That's what it came down to. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, he gets personal every fucking time with his responses. He doesn't realize he's the problem. He's the guy who's doing what he hates every time. The person I can outwit by not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> like you just have to I'll overact on a, in a picture. Yeah, we've heard that a billion times already. Well, some of the and people, the way, some of the people might have jobs and then yeah, hear it. Yeah. And by the way, your oh, beer league picture that. was so funny. What are you talking? It about? was so on. The movie point. beer league was that funny? I like beer league. Like, you oh, know, when you joined the cast, I, they, they they named your movie. Hey, and by, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, <laughs> that's a good joke. It's called one too many. <laughs> to say that I overacted the picture, have you seen Crashing? I mean, I already eating a pizza in the. Dude, the critically acclaimed show. Yeah, yeah, this is not a good move on John's part, trying to goof out Artie's performance in Crashing. You're the one person I'm actually, I'm actually winning this argument. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can't talk about overacting, Artie. We, we, it's called, but John, <laughs> he, Artie in Crashing is literally critically acclaimed. Yes. Like critics have thank, said, thank this is an amazing role for Artie Lang. Oh, thank the you. show's funny and everything. Oh, you're eating a roll. It's very hard to, you know, you might be able to get something on, yeah. Uh, you love Beerly. All of a sudden, he's dummying up Anthony over here. He's gushing for it. I love Beerly. It's kind of good. I watched the entire uh, movie of uh, One Too Many. <laughs> I watched One Too Many. the whole movie? I did watch the whole movie. One Too Many? Yeah. One Too Many Minutes? <laughs> it was, it was uh, you know, it was... I'll just shut the fuck up, Pac face. <laughs> Poor Joe DeVito. No, you're right, Asian. Again. He goes, your movie wasn't great. Shut the fuck up, Pac face. And you know, it's so interesting that, like, if this was off the cuff and they were having fun, he might have gone to a different insult. Right. Like, he thinks that that's something that's really going to dig at Anthony. Yes, correct. He's doing it to hurt him. Yeah. Yeah. My teen, plugs, my teen acne. Domestic violence suit. He's making fun of my movie. Domestic violence. <laughs> he goes right for the jugular. Yeah, why not? Can I got some soap. There's, a, there's levels that friends hey, take. Who are you? The when fucking judge of levels? Austin so there's a level of what you're allowed to do? Well, Senator yeah. Melendez, we need order in the chamber. This is a very drug centering John right here. Do you see how fired up he is? His whole thing was saying, like, we can bust balls. But you don't want to go too far. And so Anthony says, you're going too far. And he goes, what do you mean? You're the judge. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> well, 
as far as comics and friends busting balls, there is a level. I mean, I everybody knows when it goes a little uh, if too If two far. comedians are talking and one needs two grand, the other one's probably more successful. <laughs> <laughs> this is again. <laughs> you bring it up heroin and diet. How dare you? I'll bring up. The gates are open, dude. Oh. Here we go. Oh, this is. He's talking about the blood coming out of his nose. I know you were the man with a zinger in his hand. First of all, let me You've always been the ugly John. How dare you? You're fucking bringing up heroin and all this. I can't talk about it. You needed two grand? Well, no. You got it right back is, to me. No, here is Puerto the, Rican pony fucking trail. Here is the truth about this story. <laughs> okay, the truth. You never asked Artie for two grand. Artie, <laughs> no, I did not. That is, that is an untruth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're back. <laughs> that is an untruth. I never asked Artie for two grand. I asked him for 50 grand. I just asked Anthony for a, a bunch of grand. <laughs> this is a fallacy. A this fallacy? A fallacy and an untruth. John's been asking for money. Adi, you are a troll. He's been asking for money <laughs> on the entire show, over openly, while getting rejected multiple times. And he goes, "This is this is a lie. I never asked Adi for two thousand dollars." All right, let's hear let's hear his version of the story. <laughs> you know, just laughing in the car. <laughs> well, that's the what, funniest what thing he can do. <laughs> <laughs> but Anthony, his... what is your monologue? <laughs> By the way, Gino was on. Who are these podcasts? When Heather W called in, and. Him responding to Heather W. saying that John needed money for his uh, child support. And Gino laughing at that was actually very funny. Gino, Gino's got a good laugh. I bet. What happened? Here, here is the truth. Here is the truth. The gates are open. As soon as already shut the <laughs> He just up. threw a zinger at oh, Look. Oh, look at him. Look, look, look. Fucking a Charger fan. The biggest, the, almost You're like a lazy Susan of bad jokes. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Artie. Look at Gino laughing at Artie. Let me kiss Artie. Everyone's laughing. Everyone's kissing oh, yeah. Artie's ass. Yeah, anyway. The audience. Everybody's let, let, kissing. Let John talk so we can stop laughing. Oh. <laughs> Finally, Joe DeVito. Everyone's <laughs> Everyone let John talk so we can stop laughing. <laughs> oh, now you're on the fucking fucking boat? <laughs> what boat? Your Joe family can't go on a boat. And gentlemen. Anyway, Anthony. Yes, sir. The uh, lights aren't on the clapper, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't even remember where I was. Oh, the two grand. Mm. Maybe the 14th floor's light. I told them that... Uh, <laughs> you needed two grand. Because, but I had money in stock, and I was doing... Uh, you know, <laughs> Stop. What do you mean? You bought a coyote? <laughs> so my lawyer... And Ron? And, so I was telling him that my divorce attorney needs the money now. And he goes, oh, John, I'll just give it to you. And don't worry. I'll never say what anything about the passive-aggressive... Don't fucking... worry. I'll never, ever... Ma I have a text. I All right. I want to point something out right now. John told Artie Lang, a very wealthy and generous man, that his lawyer needed $2,000 that he didn't have. Why would you tell that story to Artie Lang unless you wanted him to give you money? From what I, everything I've ever heard about Artie is he's an incredibly generous guy. Incredibly generous, Like, yes. way too generous. He gave Scott the Engineer, like, 70 grand, not not as a loan, but when his uh, wife, wife was, died. Yeah. had cancer, he's like, you know, I needed help with cancer treatments and stuff. So he's like, that's... Remember, he, he tipped him for all the years of service. <laughs> <in our laughs> so, <search>. Right, you <laughs> tipped the engineer, exactly. Yeah. So th this is so funny because John goes, I never asked him for money. And now this is John telling the story going, I was just telling him how I needed $2,000. Like, that's the same thing, you fuck. All right. All right. Well, what happened? Let's see. Because then he goes, and already promised he would How many times anything. do you think he said, listen, Artie, listen, listen, before he got to it? Oh, yeah. Oh, listen. <laughs> you, th you think you have it tough with all your heroin. <laughs> listen to what I got. Don't Until worry. you can pay me. I'll never, ever mention it ever again. You know, you like that, that five-star family. I have a text. No, 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 no. <laughs> I always keep Artie's text in my back. about it. Because you, know you know didn't what? pay me on time. Oh, if you didn't on pay. Time. In your text, you said you never have to no, pay. No, no, I didn't. Oh, no, John. Okay, okay. okay. Get the hint. Here we go. Juice is running. Okay. Get the hint. Yeah, okay. oh, he, he wanted a handout. He never had to no, pay him. I got any jokes from the grass, you know. Hey, he just, he just asked his full back, back to him now. Anthony, yeah. The only feeling you'd be in is I have to pay it back as soon as... Right here, I can... All right. Did I pay it back? Yeah. Uh, you pay the juice? Two weeks after you were supposed to. You gave me a date. You said, I'll pay it back. Artie is becoming an unconscionable ball buster. <laughs> <laughs> Never. What am I, a schmuck up? A schmuck up? Uh, tires? Uh-uh. <laughs> Why don't put in the, the, joke, the stuttering on the joke you wrote? <laughs> it's crazy. Usually, when Artie gives a Hispanic two grand, he gets a couple bags of Chinese yeah. right after something. Yeah, oh, good Joe. Weed, Joe. What kind Personal of Joe. Is that a Coke joke or something? Puerto Rican sometimes. Are you the only person that needs that explained? Sometimes. sometimes. Sometimes you hear Puerto Ricans sell weed. John, you're hilarious in that you say uh, that you don't like 
when people say certain things. You make rules of what people can and can't talk about. No, you just and then made you'll rules. say you just made rules. I didn't you make just a, said I didn't you make just one said one. you just said new rule off the level. I didn't say there were a rule. I didn't say it's a rule. I said it's something everyone knows. When John, when you make when you make up escalation, John, when you make up the rule, John, when you make up rules, write them down because it takes time before you get the two. It's escalation. You go from one to ten, and it's like, and 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 we're just nice enough to not say, "Don't mention that." Fuck you, you're a prick. Like like you just go right to fucking, you know. Yeah, what, what is that? This is a, 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 the scars of my Garrett. teen acne. You told me, Garrett, makes you laugh. How about when you told it's me uh, uh, that you, you had? <laughs> he just heard nothing. <laughs> he just realized the bottle was empty, <laughs> and he's waving across the room. Ah, oh, one more, please. Let's keep him coming over here. I'm the guests. <laughs> God damn it! This job that I have, you told me, is a guarantee that you no, had. I never said it was a guarantee. And, you got and, a nose here there, by the way. Get, get a steak, man. <laughs> call, um, call your barber, Smith from Alaska. At least there's something healthy hanging out of my fucking nose. <laughs> your barber is fucking... <laughs> it's a, it's a, a steak. Yeah. At least there's something healthy coming out of my nose already. <laughs> there's nothing healthy coming out of your mouth. <laughs> there's nothing healthy. There's nothing funny coming out of your mouth. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's mad I made a joke. He's the Ginsu can funny. cut through this tin can hey, this. and remove one of... Hey, Garrett, John's you nose here. Find something in an auction? Hey, Garrett, just give me a close-up, will you? Just, no, I didn't, I didn't need the beer. I just need a close-up, but it's all right. You can't I'm, hear. He can't hear your order over me. Them laughing at me. In Japan, the hand can be used like a knife, but it can't cut John's nose hair. <laughs> ginsu. <laughs> the Ginsu. This knife can cut a, a Michelob can. <laughs> Not John's nose hair after a bunch of hummus. <laughs> See, this is... Like I said, Anthony, this is what happened. Right, but it's... Wait! Uh, just shut the fuck up for a second. Oh. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> he just pointed at the host of the show and told him to shut the fuck up. We still haven't got through the BD or uh, BDI or what is it you called? You know what, man? I gotta BSI. call. I gotta call Joe and find out what the fuck happened while he was sitting there. I gotta uh, hear what he thinks for this shit. This is this is so funny. Uh, D, what is it? DSI, whatever the the yeah live read he was trying to do. He still hasn't gotten to that, and now he's being told to shut the fuck up. Oh, right. well, I started right. doing the Anthony show the nine times that I have done it. Yes. We were a mutual nine friend. times. The nine. Nine. We it's were nine, 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 nine times. times. It was a great time. It was every. You sure. Know, but I told, uh, like, I knew as soon as Artie became your host, no, co host. did the show. Yeah, then it becomes just let's bash John. It was no, not been a lot. Yes, yes, if you look, it was, let's be funnier than John. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> uh, 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 how dare you even? Psycho. How dare you say anything about my jokes? You've gone to like my father being a quadriplegic, me on a heroin. The gates are open, dude. So I'm, I'm making fun of what? You're stuttering? If you didn't have a study, you'd be pumping gas in Massapequa. <laughs> He uh, hasn't uh, stuttered uh, the whole uh, show. You realize that, right? Gino, please. You're wrong. Just point that out. John. In time. I like that Gino is a stuttering giant conspiracy theorist who doesn't think he actually has a stutter. for that from a few people, actually. He. Dead. Okay, let's just go with Artie's premise. Okay. Now, there is no way in the world Artie could have written for Jay Leno because, I, I, no, there's, there's no way it would have happened. I mean oh, no. Is John trying to say he's a better comedy writer than Artie Lang? Is this what he's implying with this? Look at Artie's face. He's like, can we just fucking move on from this asshole? I'm just trying to fun up my show. This guy's lecturing I, me. I, honest to God. You know how I said earlier, We're like, this there. is good podcasting? We're almost there, buddy. This is like, at this point, it's like, just go away, John. It's unbelievable. Wow. He already could never have written for Jay Leno. Right, because those jokes are terrible. Go back to any of these these shows, these these Tonight shows. They're the corniest fucking jokes. I jokes the way I write jokes. Ugh, possible. Pencil? <laughs> possible. Possible. Talking? Could you imagine Jay Leno like reading the jokes he got? He's like, oh, let's see what we got here. Uh, President Clinton is being impeached and uh, Artie Lang's on heroin. I don't know why this is in here, John. <laughs> this isn't your best material. You keep you keep submitting it every week. <laughs> At all, at all, on oh, any yeah. level. And here he goes. Do you He's want to have another challenge of anything, anything in the world? Well, okay, children? I'll tell you what, Artie. Here's my challenge. <laughs> You'll cut your own whole note. Here. No, it's my challenge. And, what and, is it? And, and, all right, we'll, we're, we're, we're all witnessing it here today. I give challenge. it a roast battle. You and I. Oh boy. No, oh, just, seriously. You're talking about roasting a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and we will do it where we won. Where we both craft our own jokes. Craft. <laughs> Artie. 
<laughs> He's challenging to a roast battle. He just <laughs> challenged <laughs> Artie Lang to a roast battle. Yes. He's like, they use some of my jokes at the Kareem Abdul Jabbar roast. <laughs> but fortunately, he's forgotten that he had this appearance, so he does not know that he's doing this. What are you, all bad? <laughs> he's already heard craft. Not craft yeah. service. We'll both fucking do what our you've been at craft service? <laughs> we will... gotta be in a movie first. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll do. It's like everything he says. It's crazy. I just won't show everything. up and I'll win. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be on his first job. Oh, shit. I, I like, like how so Joe. So yeah, yeah. Why are you so fast? Just... I, like, I like how Joe just realized. He's like, it's everything he says. Yeah. This is all unbelievable. Joe DeVito's blown away by this. He's never seen such a performance at a show before of someone just imploding the way that Senator John is right now. And Joe was trying to roll with the punches, get some jokes in there. And I was just like, what is going on right now? This guy is losing it. What, why? What does he think? He's going to come on here and challenge Arnie to a roast battle? It's such a dumb idea. Craft our own jokes. Craft. What <laughs> 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 fruit are you, all batch? Craft. <laughs> you already heard craft. Not craft uh, service. We'll both fucking do our you jokes. you craft service? <laughs> we will... got to be in a movie first. <laughs> <laughs> I know about craft singles. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do. It's like everything he says. It's crazy. I just won't show everything. up and I'll win. <laughs> He'll be on his first show. Oh, shit. Anthony, so what will so happen fa yeah, yeah. So is fast. that we will do a roast battle. Mm. Marty has to write his own jokes. He can't have fucking Frank Sebastiano do it. He's got to write his own jokes. I will write mine. We'll see who wins. Sean, Alex. That was very passive aggressive, accusing Artie of having people writing for him. As somebody who, I don't get it. as somebody who is employed as a was employed as a joke writer, yeah, that's a weird shade to pull. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> Show up and I win. <laughs> He'll be on his first show. Oh shit, Anthony. So what Artie will so happen? Fast. Yeah, yeah. So fast. That we will do a roast battle. Mm. Artie has to write his own jokes. He can't have fucking Frank Sebastiano do it. He's got to write his own jokes. I will write mine. We'll see who wins. Sean Alexander Hamilton wrote your joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking ancient. <laughs> I, I toured with you. You, had, you did four seconds. Me and the pilot had to do an hour each, and he splits the check. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. And, and that's when I was doing it. taking oh. a leak on Route 95. And Anthony, ah. that's when I started after six months. This, by the way, is what burns John the most. When he's told that he wasn't at the same level as Artie and Nick DiPaolo, and they took the same amount of money. Mm -hmm. He has battled people, even when they don't bring it up. They could just say, like, I heard John's a cheapskate. Like, I gave Nick DiPaolo twenty five hundred dollars. Like, well, I didn't bring up anyone's name. Or that anything. was a, he did. He brought up Nick DiPaolo. Yep. That thing, which was remember very strange, very strange. And then he explained that Nick DiPaolo made less money when John wasn't the one running the show. Whatever. And so this really pisses off John. He, he still remembers when I started. John can't play an instrument, and he had the, a band, uh, a rock and roll deal. See, this is another fucking lie. He, he's never been on the radio. He was the biggest radio okay. show of all time. Okay. He's not a comedian. Here's he tore the truth. <laughs> Let's just stop here. Okay. I can't play an instrument. Right. <laughs> See you next week. Care <laughs> yourself. Joe's like, I, I want to plug my player. dates in Schenectady. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. oh, he's got a. <laughs> <laughs> I never John got through funny. my Bet the Asai read, though, John. We got to take a break. <laughs> oh, anyway. You know how the sponsors are. Oh, oh so, you, so I don't have a rebuttal time? Well, <laughs> we do after this. Rebut, get, get all your thoughts together, have another beer, and I'll talk about Bet the Asai. And NFL football season, full swing right now in college football at its peak. The NHL, the NBA, every night. There's a game on. All right, so now he's finally to able to get into his, uh, his ad DSI read here. here. I love that John thinks David. that he should be given time for a rebuttal. He didn't just he interrupt the last time he tried to do the ad yes. read and rebut for 25 minutes? Uh, yes. Stupid Gino. And this is great because uh, now Gino John has forgotten Gino, what he's arguing two, back about. Three, I think when two. he just said that, it was going to be about the time he went on the road with Artie and Nick DiPaolo. Because, as you just heard, John didn't have a lot of material. Artie and Nick were doing long sets. Right. They were the reason why people were coming to the show. Right. The fact that it was tied to stuttering John, I'm sure, had a connection to Howard Stern, which probably got some more promotion. Well, honest to God, it doesn't hurt to put a guy like that on a show for five minutes. But Listen, it's like we talked somebody, about Ron Jeremy was going to host that show with, with Stuttering yeah, John's. Like, Ron Jeremy's the guy. If you're putting a show out there, if you can get as many people with a little bit of name as possible, yes. it doesn't hurt ticket sales. Correct. I don't understand why you think you would be entitled to a 
third of the door or whatever the fuck he thinks he's getting. Was honestly, I don't think that even Artie's really all that worried about it. I think he just knows that when he busts his balls about it, John gets very butthurt because John thinks he's now a headliner. As you know, he's a headliner, so he doesn't like to talk about the times when he was opening up shows for those guys. And uh, if you want to try it out for free, enter that promo code. Kumia25. Right. Well, I think we're almost through the. Just uh, for registering. BetDSI.com. Promo code Kumia25. Thank you, BetDSI. All right, just a few more minutes here. Let's uh, see here thank you, hey, Deep we're Discount. Now. Let's see how John see, does. We, that wasn't that bad. Here we go. Was awful. And then you get anyway, to rebut. Oh, wait. Keith, is, uh, Keith has something for so, us. So Brian's here as well. So what we're thinking is we're going to move. Uh, Gino, we're gonna move Gino out. I should go. Oh. Move, uh, yeah, well, that's, a, that's not the first Artie. time he's gotten bumped. Oh. We're gonna move Artie and John to the couch together. Oh no! Oh, oh, magic. A little, like, like, I'll just leave. Like, I'll just, like, no, stop it! You don't have to leave. Brian, and we're gonna bring Brian in. Because Who am I gonna leave? Let me just finish. The, what the hell? I'm finished. Oh. All right. John's like, that's fine. You guys got a lot of people here. I'm not done making a spectacle of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't embarrassed myself completely yet. Let me just do that. All right. You ready for this? We're in the home stretch now, Vinny. Uh, Go ahead. You were talking the about the fuck. No, a, a roast battle. Oh, right. No, no, that was something else we were talking about. Uh, you were rebutting oh. yeah. something that Artie said. I forgot what it was. But now, bad. see? So I said it's a roast battle. No, yeah. there was something else we were talking about. I think it was the roast battle that you were initially oh, talking I got, about. I got to write my own jokes. Hey, Mike, what was it? I've never done that before. There was something I was talking about. Oh. I can't remember now. Ah. By the way, the, the crowd was, the crowd so loves this part. Yeah. yeah, I was so enthralled by <laughs> Maybe your cousin can go step button. over here and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're a kid from Denmark away from not being in show business. <laughs> <laughs> Who, he's a first cousin? <laughs> Who was a... Oh, okay. a second cousin. Do you like doing this with John? Yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> sure. Right. Should you probably love you. Good, yeah. yeah. He's a fun guy, Good. right? Yeah. Denmark. It really does. That is like, I can't believe he's like actually part of your family. Well, he's a nice kid. Why? Because he's uh, very Aryan looking. Ah, uh, half well, Danish. He's half Danish. What? You, what's your joke about that? I have Alexa Hente. You're a dick. What is it? I didn't well, say. All I'm going to say is that, yeah. oh, here we go. and I'm leaving. Okay. But, hey. No, I know, but all John's I'm going to say. used to a is, producer kicking him out. All I'm going to, this, this is what I'm going to say. I started out. Yeah, as a host with Artie, a small five thousand watt radio station. What is this biography? No, and then I and I worked my way up to a feature, and now I'm a fucking headliner. So I mean, you mm. bringing up jokes and shit from fucking you brought it up. Oh, you always trash my comedy. You I mean, do you not, oh my. John. I do not. The That's only time I've ever, ever seen Artie take it to another level is after you've gone so far into like the really insulting territory. John, I never said anything. That's all, John. You tell. You talk about it. Yeah, right, what is that? Oh look. He's uh, uh, John, John's got his feelings real hurt now. Now he feels really bad about this appearance. Uh, he sh if only he had put a th just one of those beers down, this might have ended a little differently. Yeah, that would have helped. But also, just pick up on the fact that they wanted to just have you on the show to like talk about topics and roll and riff. And John went in there with an agenda. He was going to go in there and let Anthony know what a piece of shit he was, let Keith know what a dick he is. He wanted to shove Garrett under the bus. It's so, he was so stupid the way he came out. All right, let's find out why John has to go. He's at the all right, whatever phase. You know, you're not going to be able to do that on the floor uh, there in fucking D.C. What are you doing? The you can't just go, all right, whatever. <laughs> are you going to replace to argue your point? Either. To six. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with you. I mean, I think that if you're gonna start fucking beating somebody up, then. then but I'm they're jokes. It's bust. There's bust but balls. You make fun of my kid. It's not jokes. No one yeah, made fun made of your fun kid. Of Come on, See, John. Grillo did. You know what? He's very. He's very upset that you even think that. Come on. You know, yeah. Grillo wouldn't do you that. Even, you he even... would not do that, John. I wouldn't let him do it. I listened to it already. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't mean I, he, he never said anything about your kid that was nasty at all. Yes, he, and then you stopped. The father like John I did, but that yes, Grillo, abuse. Actually, he's, he's very upset <laughs> the about you. Put up you with think anything. that? Did you hear that? With no. Father, what he said? With a father like John, is not enough abuse for this poor kid? <laughs> <laughs> you stopped him, and then you even told me when you called me. You no, know he's like he's like Fredo. Fre you know, no, Grillo is stupid. When you called me, you said that, and you also said I should have edited it out. You apologized for it. Uh, yeah, I should have. To calm you the fuck down. Right, he was trying to be polite. Yeah, you're right. John, I should have edited it out. I'm sorry. You know, it was just uh, just a thing to like keep the fucking relationship going. John holds every grudge way too long. 
Yeah, but, but, but because it was perceived talking about levels. So you put it to bed, it's over. But if you're right. talking about levels. Yeah, yeah. The fact if that we're talking, talking about, levels, about this at all. That's, that's way above anything I've said about Artie. Such a victim. Poor Could you imagine John. the smell that is wafting? <laughs> I know. Look at that. Look at right Artie now. getting as far away as possible. Devito's all the way back in his seat, as far away from John as possible. Yeah, like notice John is there and he has a microphone, but he is sitting as far back away from that mic as he can. I can see what it smells like if I zoom in on this right now. Enhance, enhance. I see stink lines. <laughs> so this is insane because John is a that joke is victim. no good. <laughs> Wine rights. <laughs> <laughs> but what this victimhood, though, of, of centering John, where he goes, he's brought this up every time when they've gone, John, we're busting balls. What are you talking about? You bust our balls. You bust your balls. But my kid. Like, oh, okay, but again, we no on. one did it, John. We get it. We moved on now, right? We're good. Let's move on. He's still fucking yelling, but my kid. You don't. What are you, what are you gonna hold it like the JDL? My old man, you. It's, it's okay when it's. It, this is no. A, I'm saying it's. First of all, I don't see it as being Artie's fault. I'm gonna get all their money back. <laughs> 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 He's gonna go give the audience their money back because of John's appearance. <laughs> he's, he's giving. He's giving people their money back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at John, he's so defeated. It's just, it's fucking terrible. It's Artie's like they signed up for a medical Artie. experiment. <laughs> Artie's throwing money at them. John is sitting there so defeated because Artie's getting a ton of laughs as usual. He just paid the audience back their money because, John, you were so bad on this show. Yeah. I'm giving these people the money. I can't think of a bigger insult. That's like the club manager. Like, I'm finished with my set walking on stage. Say, hey, everyone, please pick up your refund at the door. Except for it's worse than that, Vinny. This is a free taping. <laughs> oh. They didn't pay anybody. <laughs> money back at a free show. <laughs> Anthony. That's money. Anthony has been great. John won't talk oh, John, are you really leaving? Oh, yeah, I want to go watch the game. What game? You see in Pittsburgh. Well, why do you like that game? You got a Antonio gotta... Brown and fantasy. Oh, okay. So there you go. All right. Oh, all right. We have fantasy in show Joe business. Be incredibly funny here. Well, we can. Uh... All right. So I want to point something out. Well, let Joe be funny over there. I'm just to go. Uh... John has to have an excuse. He knows he's too drunk. I know when I'm wanted. He's I know when I'm not wanted. He knows that this is not going to go well for him if he sticks around. So he says, "I got to go. I got to go watch the game." Artie, who's all over sports, what game? What are you talking about? Oh, I need to see Cincy Pittsburgh. So at the time of day this would be taking place is 510 in the evening. This game will start three hours from now. And the reason why he has to go leave and watch is because he has a guy in a fantasy league to watch it. That's like a, a child would say that. Yeah. I gotta go watch Antonio Brown. You know, I'm down, I'm down 27 points in my fantasy league. <laughs> okay, John. You're on the fucking Anthony Gubia show. It's like you're excited to be there, you moron. We'll do it. We'll, we'll fucking do it one time. We'll bring, uh, All right, and we, on the and we have a. I'm gonna go. Go on the couch. We have a two-minute clip of uh, Brian and Artie. I hope we're gonna play that. We'll shuffle face. everybody around. <laughs> oh, okay, let's play that, and then we'll come back after everybody's. Uh, game exactly. What I says, let's see what it is. Come on. <laughs> all right, so then it switches over to a Mad TV clip that is. Um, yeah. Not all that funny. Switch on back to shot one. I everybody. was going to without your directing. Damn it. I'm the best director ever. Damn it, I was gonna do it. I was going to finally do it. So I've been sitting in the uh, pilot seat here today. Yeah, man. You did a good job. Well, I tried. It's my first time using the software. And, uh, you know, I got uh, I mean, you got us online bit. late. You know, you got us late started. to the – and you had to generate a second link. But, know. you know, we all forgive you. Wrong. Wrong. Nobody's feed. mad at you. I don't know. I feel like everyone's mad at me now. Nah. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for doing this, Vinny. I know I did this last second with you. I, I threw this out there. We would do this. This was a lot of fun. Thank this you was. for having me for it. Yeah, this is what I, I wanted to talk about for a while. I'm really glad to allow you to use the studio gratis to do the show anytime <laughs> you want to, pal. I'm going to go throw uh, 20 bucks at Mark on my way out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's nice to be important. It's more important to be nice. Hey, wrong show. <laughs> Gia. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-P